Hello. Hi. Howdy. It is him. It is, it is, it is me. Good day. Good day. Hi, uh, Dion. Hi. 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 Hello. Hey. Hey. What are you going to do to us this time? I don't know. That's really up to you. I think fate is in your hands, but... Uh... Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it, all, it always is. Uh, let me get our music on so we can dive in. Uh, you guys had uh, last session, you all leveled up to level two. Thankfully, you all right back in town. Uh, you gave Gideon a lovely funeral. Uh, you cast a uh, unknown, mysterious spell by the name of Ceremony so that he may not turn into an undead. Uh, we also got a new arm for Turg. Yeah. New Yay. arm. New arm for Turg. And uh, now you all have retreated over to over to the Stonehill Inn. Get yourself some well-deserved rest. Long rests all around. Uh, <clears throat> and that is what we did last time. So, do, 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 where the heck is my music? Am I just blind? Did I accidentally drag the folder somewhere? Mm. What the? What the? Hold on. Okay, hold up. I might have... <laughs> I, I think my folder's like gone. <laughs> so that's so what I was like. <laughs> I'm like, cool. Yeah. Love that. Really. The game starts to fall apart around you. Kind of. Oh, God. Did I delete it? That's going to, that would be cringe. No way. No way. I'm going to look this no up. No way. It's in there somewhere. Okay. I found it. I found it. Oh, my God. I was so close to cringing. Whoa. I it, it was all the way on the top of the list. And I was just uh, I wasn't up. I wasn't up all the way. That was me. That was me. So that big cringe moment for me. OK. <clears throat> so welcome back uh, to Fandolin. You all have taken Thanks, a long. Man. You all Thanks. have ta taken your long rest. You've arrived. Uh, how are you guys uh, snoozing, by the way? Okay, so, so first, before we even get started, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place today. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> hey, Veldrin. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Turg. You've you've got this uh, small little lad. <laughs> little, little, little Tommy, little Tommy Turner is just Hi. been on his own. What are you gonna do with this little guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sit him home. <laughs> yeah, sit him down at a uh, home. <laughs> oh <my laughs> sit down with him at a, sit, a table and look, kind of look at him in the younger. So, uh, uh, wait a warm up. Um, he looks helplessly at Veldrin. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's asking where your mom's at. Oh, um. You are. I, I'm. I'm with. Your I'm here with her permission. I'm actually a fully grown adult. I'm 28. Veldrin looks at Turg. <laughs> hey, uh... I, I know it's hard to tell because I'm a halfling and all, but I'm, I'm not a kid. I can fight. Are you adventurous? Aye, we are. Aye. Hey, surely can do that. Are you, are you going to go on another quest after this? Hey, hey, that's what we were planning. Eh? Well, oh, all right. Um, he looks down at his feet. He looks really bashful, but it's like, it's like in a, in, like in a guilty puppy kind of way. Well, well, can, can I, can I come with? I can do a bit of magics, you see. Yeah. yeah. Veldrin. <laughs> <laughs> Veldrin slowly sort of sitting at the table, both hands holding the mug that he's been drinking from. And he's he's watching Tommy with this very, very poignant stare, sort of taking them in. It's getting dark. My vision... <laughs> I look down at my mug. It, I see three mugs in my hand. I'm going on an adventure. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy meets Tommy meets your gaze. There is a, a brightness and an innocence about him, but also a deep, inexplicable, uncanny darkness. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah. You don't yeah. have to babysit me. I'm seasoned at this point, I no, think. No, I, judging by your looks, I, I believe it. The, the issue, right, is that the companion you were traveling with bid us farewell. Then we just lost a companion of our own. Oh. So, I, um, I'm not opposed to you joining us. Just, just be aware it doesn't get any easier. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I reckon it doesn't. It's all right. I'm here well, yeah, for I mean, if you a good up, time, but... not a long one. It's a long way, your mother. What? Give me some, give me Show it away, your magic. Oh, you want to see some of my magic? Hey. Um, last time I did this, um, a lot of people uh, got really excited, so I don't think I'm supposed to, but... Uh, Bonnie cast bonf Tommy cast bonfire on the table. Okay, uh, the table <laughs> well, ignites on fire. Does anyone you... have a bag of sand? We need to put it out. <laughs> <And> Tom, <laughs> what are you doing? Blade is over here going, going, hey, what the fuck you doing? Hey, he's just uh, kind of like. Sorry, they just wanted to see. He, but start, he starts like I... patting it away with his apron. Eldrin pours his drink on the bonfire. Like, <laughs> Where's the sand? We used to have. Loads of bags of sands. No spell Sand. casting. No spell casting. He says okay, he points I'm, it over I'm at Tommy. Sorry. My, I'm, I'm ter terribly sorry for my friend. Um, what? Why are you screaming for bags of sand? Um. Oh, I guess that was just a Brian thing, wasn't it? You aren't like sand collectors, are you? Oh my God. I share a look with Turg. <laughs> Um, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I do like rock. Okay. All right, I won't. But you, you see, right? I could do a little bit. Very, um, very potent country. I <laughs> I think so. <laughs> You feel like I'm going to also be like, it's going dangerous, so if I want my little man, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, um, if you're joining our merry band, <clears throat> I'm very... It doesn't seem very merry, <laughs> but it's all right. That's why I'm here. Hey. I'll liven it up a little. Hey, yeah, go on, I have a good old smile on my face. Yeah, huh. yeah Valtry, you can smile, right? Uh, <laughs> as can, as you can. were as you were asked that, Tol Toblin will kind of pat Veldrin on the shoulder, like poke, poke, poke. Look over at the uh, the looming figure. He has his palm open, and he'll say, "That'll be two gold for the table." Yeah, all right. <laughs> He'd pull two mm. gold and <laughs> pay the man. <laughs> he just kind of returns back over to the kitchen. I have no issue with smiling, and I think that you'll be more than capable on our adventures. I'm just, I'm just a little wary. I think a good night's rest and um, enjoying myself a drink with some nice company will, All right. uh, will ease my burdens. Hey, hey Um, can I have everyone please roll perception checks? I see the figure darkening the doorway. I refuse to look. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Ooh, God, real shame we wasted those, huh? Yeah, uh, not sneaky at all, dude. <laughs> um, so. You'll actually audibly hear something uh, out loud um, from outside. Uh, do, 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 do. You're going to hear. All right. Cough up everything you got, old man. And we'll, and we'll be and you could be on your way. 
All right, then. Here you go. Wow, this sounds like a real pushover. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe we can. Baldrin immediately sets the drink aside and goes, ah, damn it. And pushes himself off the stand. All right. There we oh. go, bathroom. Are we gonna are we gonna go get into a row? I don't like a bar fight. Okay. <laughs> God. All right. So are you um are you, you are you going outside? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah wood. <laughs> <laughs> it's the right thing to do. <laughs> Real, r- real freaking bummer. All right, give me one second. One moment, please. I have to set th- something up. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I just love the old man voice being like, okay, and then heads <laughs> over their money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me uh, switch the map real quick. <laughs> so we're, we're going into a battle map, smiley face. Yay. Damn, short session. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it starts with a crit. We all die. Uh, so uh, you all will go out and you will. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Uh, you'll all go outside and <laughs> sorry uh, you're going to see what I could only describe as the oldest tiefling you've ever seen <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that Tomato, <laughs> uh, would you like to introduce your character and tell us what you're all about this old bag is Sylvester, the tiefling. <laughs> He's so fucking old. <laughs> he doesn't, it doesn't look like magic's helping him stay afloat. He just looks like at any moment he could die. This could be at any moment. We've got to help him. He looks like he could die at any moment. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, since you agreed to our terms, we'll be taking all of your what gold out. To be yeah, you go ahead, and you go, you go ahead out and take it. Here you uh, go. Uh, Sylvester he, hands him his gold, his money. Okay, so I see his He'll take the gold piece. He'll take the bag, and he'll just mutter something under his breath. But then he'll turn to the three of you, and he says, "I'm sorry, mate. Did you mutter something just now?" I said it. I didn't mutter. Hand back his gold. <laughs> Look, you're new to town, so I'm willing to forgive. I'm gonna shoot him if he keeps talking. You're a real you coward. Me? You're a real coward for picking a fight with a with an old bag like that. Yeah, hold on now. Um, so, so, uh, I do want to establish something here. Um. Everyone's pretty much primed for a fight. So if you go for the the shot, um, that'll be an initiative roll. It will not be considered a surprise round. Just FYI. You got it. Okay. Uh, But he'll kind of like look over. Are you like, do you visibly have your weapon out right now? (laughs) It's uh, the moment where he says, give him back his gold is the moment he pushes his cloak aside to show (laughs) the Elvish Lang and the crossbow. Oh, boys, look what we got here. A couple of would-be heroes. Hold on. What the hell, man? And he's like, oh, no, old man did fine. He paid his dues. He's free to go, but I'm not a... I was walking down the street looking for my grandson. (laughs) Oh, man. Give him my back. Give him cut in the head. Give him his. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) He says, all right. Say again. (laughs) <laughs> he'll squiggle. <laughs> he'll hold his hands up and says, "All right, all right, yeah, I, uh, boys. I think we should go ahead and give him a good old Vandalin welcome." 
and uh i'm gonna start rolling some initiative brett just because i didn't want to drop the scene i don't have a token i own on the scene you don't have a what i can't i just see black it says i don't own a token on this do you not oh <laughs> turk I, what happens oh I you know beards in the eyes <laughs> Oh, you know what happened? I, I, I think I assumed Aww. Turk wasn't coming back, and so I removed ownership. <laughs> oh, no. No, I, I see that. All right, let's try again. How about now? Can you... Uh, yeah, I do now. Yeah, I do now. Okay, everyone can see oh. their tokens. Pushes his head, beards yeah. out of his eyes. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's give it He's a go. Who's also not initiative? Who's also not initiative? Turk. Oh, yeah, that's because... Uh, he was he was he vanished uh now he's back all right okay we begin uh with belgian Ooh, right off the cuff okay <clears throat> uh yeah we're going to hearing the uh the old red or the whole fandolin welcome and obviously seeing that these individuals are uh <laughs> they are red brands they are the ones that have basically been terrorizing the town it's a it's a very quick motion of him coming up uh <laughs> is it flanking with the old man <laughs> um it depends on sylvester if sylvester is in a combative stance there is not, I'm sorry, there is not a single way Sylvester knows what's going on. <laughs> Understood. Uh, then instead of committing my full movement to Understood. flanking, we're going to step up five feet, Lang comes out, and we're going to take a swing at this guy. All right, let's see how you do. Uh, 15 hits for three points of damage. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the other part of the question he doesn't understand what's going on is he considered an ally unfortunately no sneak attack would not apply Bet. <laughs> then we're gonna stab this guy <laughs> with my offhand there's really no need for any trouble now uh, the 11 will miss unfortunately okay um <laughs> oh, he's so old. And this is what my character would do. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, he's like, get him, boys. And uh, yeah, this one's going to start to walk up. And he's going to go for uh, an attack on Veldrin. 18. Well, that definitely hits. Three points of damage. And uh, smiles, multi-attack. That'll miss. Well, that's that one he parries. Yeah. It's like we're fighting six people. <laughs> hey, I call you bastard. Yeah, he's coming for the dwarf. Oh, oh. Hot. Both <laughs> miss. Flex it. Thank God. Uh, yeah, this one's kind of pissed off with your lip right now, so he's also going to go for the two strike. Both missing. Oh, <laughs> no. Turn. Hey. Yes. Sorry. No, go oh, for it, please. Um, are we supposed to be able to see health bars or not? Nah? No. Okay. All right. That's what I thought not because that's how it blade. had been. Um, yeah, I, okay. I, I, tur I, I turned oh, it on. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're and right. And then I was right. went, okay. whoopsie, and then I turned it back off. So, yeah, the only, uh, you'll only know when they're bloodied. They're bloodied. Understood. Uh, I'm going to take a swing at the middle guy um, and do a war pick. Miss. No. Bro, these are rolls. Wait, hold up, Fuck hold it. up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Something's wrong. Oh, yeah, because it's not adding any more stuff. It's not adding your proficiency. Oh. Uh, please attack again. <gasps> yeah. That also misses. Well, they got high, I see. Uh, I want to action surge. Might as well use it while we got it. Uh, oh, go for the middle yes, guy sir. again. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Tommy. Uh, Tommy is going to back up a little bit. We're not, we're not would be heroes. We're will be heroes. And he's going to cast Witch Bolt on. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Oh, Actually, the fuck. one that was talking. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to make a spell attack. Oh, one. Let me, let me just check one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I might not have it. Um, 
It, sorry, it's just like I have my spells ready to, on my D and D Beyond sheet. Ah, uh, that that's it, why. Okay, so you have a witch bolt on your character I, sheet. Yeah, yeah, I have witch G bolt. Give me um, one second, and I will add that to your. I can just tell sheet. you, like, I can send you just a screenshot of the spells I have. Right oh now no, of course, I'd, I'd appreciate that. And then I'm okay. gonna add witch bolt to your character sheet right now, so you can cast it. Hmm. And you got that from the player's handbook, correct? Yeah, I mean, I think so. I'm pretty sure that was player's handbook. If it's not, then I mean, I have like that's fine. I just gotta. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. I have dragged witch bolts into your um, character sheet. And I have it prepared so you can cast. Very it. Very cool. I am going to attempt to cast witch bolt. Oh baby, let's go. Oh baby, 17. let's go. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, a, a streak of blue electricity is going to lance out uh, and stick to him like static, like one of those plasma balls and deal eight uh, lightning damage. All right. Uh, also, let me just check something real quick. Your intelli- Oh no, that number's right. I saw how, I was like three, that's not right. It is right. Um, okay, so. Bloodied. Cool. And also, I believe that means uh, you can do a little snappy snap and do extra damage on your next turn, correct? Uh, it, I believe it's going to continue to do 1d12 damage uh, for the next turns until... Wait. You have to use your action. You have to use your yeah, action to yeah, do it. It's, it's for my action, so it'll just... Yeah. Yep, if you spend your action, it'll just go off automatically. Yep. Uh, excellent. Uh, let me do a quick... I have to, I'm going to make a quick status uh, effect. One moment, please. Okay. I submit the changes. This guy is now witch bolted. And are you, yes, this is something you have to maintain concentration on. So yep. here, we, here we go. All right. Next up is Sylvester. Excuse me. Sylvester is going to tap the uh, the red brand's shoulder. <laughs> Excuse me, am I free to go then? Yeah, get out of here. Okay. <laughs> you know if this general store open that I can purchase a small bag to carry gold? Hey! <laughs> he's going to... Okay, so uh, next turn, he's going to take a swing at Sylvester. <laughs> <laughs> no! I'll just go out and Get out of here. Then, <laughs> no, you. you're not going anywhere. We're going to get your money back. I have to leave now. I think I am in danger. Sylvester <laughs> <laughs> oh, takes an attack of opportunity. Eight oh points of God. damage oh. to Sylvester. <laughs> Sylvester's <laughs> blood. Oh, what the oh. fuck? <laughs> and as Sylvester coughs, I'm going to cast uh, Arms of Radar on everyone here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Arms of Hadar. Excellent. Uh, so, uh, creatures within 10 feet of you. Uh, so, all three of these guys. Strength okay. saves. Oh my god, you did it. You madman. Holy shit. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Nice, nice. Okay. Uh, let, me, let me check a thing. Yep. And mm. uh, what's the DC? Nice. Thirteen. Uh, oh my gosh! Massive. <laughs> Anything else happen? Uh, they can't take reactions until their next turn. Mm, nice. Whoever failed, uh, anyone that succeeded takes half damage on that. Oh uh, baby. Fifteen. <laughs> Stumble another uh, fifteen. <laughs> feet. Hang on, let me make sure I got that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Which which one <laughs> failed? Is it middle and bot? Uh, middle and bottom failed. This one mm. succeeded. And uh, Sylvester is going to take a uh, cowering position, believing he's about to be killed. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're gonna swing the lane at, at this guy, especially seeing that a fucking lightning bolt <laughs> is basically holding this guy. Yeah. He's gonna look back over his shoulder at Tommy, this genuine look of surprise. Hi. And then take a swing at the this one here. I've got this one. Miss. 
uh, and then we offhand. Hit. Okay. Sneak attack applies, and he's already bloodied before the sneak attack. Oh, that's cool. The uh, the first laying strike getting parried, and then using that parry to then a uh, very quick, snappy stab uh, at their midsection. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Oh, boy. Yeah, this one's like holding his gut a little bit, and he's like, hey, you're pretty good. Why don't you uh, think about joining us? Glass Staff could use more red brands. <coughs> <laughs> Glass Staff, he said. Yes. Is it? Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. What's your, is your sneak attack still 1d6? Yeah, it's still 1d6. It doesn't okay, go cool. up till uh, level three. I'm thinking smite. My mistake. <laughs> uh, ooh. Is there a way to feign earnest, like interest? In... Oh yeah, it's called deception. Okay. Can I roll like Veldrin yeah. having heard that would pull the dagger back his brows sort of knitting together and he'd sort of hold the lang and dagger close into himself and be like, they pay well. <laughs> you betcha. Maybe I will. Uh, and sort of look like he's taking a back step to show, to show some interest. Go ahead and like, give me a deception check. <laughs> He'll, uh, well, let me uh, do a private roll here. I gotta do it by the book. He'll, he'll nod a little bit. Yeah, wise, wise choice, wise decision. Look, we just made 50 gold off that old man. You join us, we'll be good to go. We good? We good? He looks around. All right. Hold off, hold off. I think he's good. Dirk. Throw. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'll, I'll stick. I'll stick. Veteran's the leader here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Hey. Okay. I'm gonna tell him what boy. Okay. I don't understand I'm, what he's saying. I'm gonna step away. Yep. Go down here. Okay. <laughs> go here. Yep. And go here. Like I'm just wandering around to look at the old man. Just keep oh. my peepers there. Where? Uh, hey, where are you going? <laughs> we, we gotta talk. I am making sure the old man doesn't get away. <laughs> does, any, does anyone understand Dwarvish? He said he's checking on the old man. I'm a thing coming. No one here speaks Dwarvish. Leave him. He's fine. He's walking away. You speak Dwarvish? Although. That kid's got a hell of an arm. He'd, he'd look back to Tommy. Uh, I would like to use my bonus action to make an insight check on Veldrin. Uh, you can just do it for free. Okay. There's there's no insight okay, Tommy, needed. All right, Tommy knows that Veldrin is lying. Okay. He was going to look back and he's give you deceptive. a wink. <laughs> Tommy stares back at Veldrin. But, but he tried to... He threatened that old man. If he's got a taste for it, he'll do it again. I have to put him down. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> there's a... There's a moment where he goes, looks back at the rest of the, the red brands, looks back at Tom and goes, I, I think you should. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, bet. One D twelve. Five. Yeah. yeah. He, he, <laughs> how do you kill this red bread? This lady <laughs> just strikes. He, Tommy. Off. Tommy flicks his hand, and this this lance of lightning that is connecting him to this red brand sparks up, and his smoke begins coming out from under this red brand's hood and hair and his eyes bug out of his head and he just collapses <laughs> just like his heart just goes out uh, there's, there's oh, yeah, no, 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 no. 
<laughs> He's shocked. He has this shocked expression. And then he looks back at Veldrin. You snake. Yeah. <laughs> I just did what needed to be done. Uh, concentration ends because the target is dead. Uh, <laughs> <At the. laughs> Sylvester. Sylvester never turned around after he was stabbed and now believes that in a couple of moments he is going to be stabbed again. So he's going to swing his quarterstaff around and with the momentum of it, he is going to cast an Eldritch Blast at the back of this man's head. Oh my god, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> let's go! Oh, it, it misses. It misses. <laughs> Flies in the oh. Oh, this time he re- he, they thought the arms came from Tommy, and then as he watches the Eldritch energy crackles forth, he kind of turns around <laughs> and sees the Eldritch energy. Oh, I don't want to be trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, too Vel- rich for my blood. <laughs> Veldrin. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're gonna... Uh, having, when it's the moment that the bolt comes out that Veldrin backsteps, bonus action or cunning action, disengage. Mm. Uh, immediately back, it's the laying goes away, the crossbow goes up and f- fires at the bloodied one. All right, let's see it. Miss. Mm. That's my turn. All right. Uh, this one, he's looking around, he sees the zap, he looks towards the halfling, and then he just starts walking forward, and he says, I'll teach this kid a lesson! Drops the sword, critical miss, as you do, (laughs) uh, and a 14, which breaks her AC, uh, Uh, shields. Ooh, JK! JK, alright, uh, magic shield comes up, uh, just, like, deflects his blow, rinses it off. He really is a wizard. <laughs> He's looking around. So this guy, seeing what's happening, sees everyone around, is, uh, going to... Oh, hello. He runs away. Oh, goodbye. He, I love he, the young people. He starts running towards the direction of the manor to the east of town. Turg. Uh, I'm going to move over towards this one. And I am going. If you're, uh, if you're, if you're, if you're over here, you're flanking. <coughs> well, flanking was a thing. I forgot flanking was a thing. I okay, know I did. got that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. Uh, so does that give me advantage? Correct. All right, then I'm just gonna come up behind him. All right, and the go. Uh, how do you dispatch Ooh. him? Just straight in the back. Like Timmy, uh, Tommy's gonna look up. I have the shield come up as he stabbed him, and just see this warping go straight through his head. Dude, like, Tommy like gets breaking blood like rock. all over him. Yeah. it's awful. <laughs> and then pull it out, and his body just drops him. Up. Hey, hey, don't know what man. Uh, end of encounter. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. He's gonna kill the runner. I'm gonna kill the runner. Okay. <laughs> yes. No. Yeah. You're going for the, the shot. Yeah. The he he sort of rushes up, crossbow leveled. He would sort of fall to a knee. Uh, is uh, I mean he'd be aware of me, but in the Correct. same vein of like using my bonus action to hide first and then fire, so that way I'm hidden. <laughs> Uh, give me one second. Not that one. <laughs> a bomb explodes. Uh, okay, so that's about seventy five hundred. Um, so currently, currently you are about a hundred feet away from him, and he's bolting. He's trying to run straight fantastic. for the manor. I move up, so that way I'm seventy feet away from him, within range of my crossbow. Okay. Then I will bonus action hide. Okay. All uh, right. And then I will fire from stealth. Is he aware of me? Uh, you may roll an advantage. You may roll sneak attack. He takes the hit. Is that, did I put a D6 in there? Or did I just put a one? Is it a... I nope, it's a know. D6. It's a D6. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, okay. He's bloody. Just to make it... Uh, like, I know we were doing like... um. Uh, we're not in initiative order anymore, but Tommy would have also attempted to shoot down the runner. 
Excellent. Uh, go ahead and move, Tommy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, hold on, I have 25. Bolts of crossbows Sweet. flying past <laughs> Sylvester's old head. Does this put me within uh, 80 feet? Yep. Okay. Uh, puts you right at 75. Put a shield, uh, take out his crossbow, and shoot one shot after him. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, he's limping away right now. <laughs> he's got two arrows in. Um, Darn it! He would dash uh, another. Yeah, Sylvester's gonna sneeze and uh, Eldritch Blast is gonna. Uh, <laughs> fly out of and, I'm gonna try to block Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's uh, see that's it. 11. That's unfortunately, oh. that won't hit. That will not hit. Uh, he, I think I'm too far away. Yeah, he. Uh, afterwards, he, he absolutely would run another 60 feet up, um, being uh, at now 135 feet. You guys can still fire, uh, but it will be at disadvantage at this point. I'll take it. All right. Are you hiding? Uh, Godspeed, dude. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna once again same combo. I'm gonna move up. It'll be a normal like, hit. Indeed, it'll be it'll be Veldrin, basically wrenching back the crossbow string, loading in the crossbow and that or cro- crossbow bolt. There we go. And then leveling it. It's and now then... or never. That's a miss. How uh... far away is he? How many feet? Uh, so currently he's a hundred and okay. So, so if Tommy was 75, did you fire from there, Tommy? Or did you fire uh, from Tommy over just here? moved. Uh, oh, I, no, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, he was there. He was within range. Okay. So 75 when, where Tommy was, uh, he was 135 feet away. <clears throat> so he's 120 feet away. Uh, from me. For- think so right am i i'll say yes i'll go for it yes i'll say you're 120 feet away can i get a disadvantage do long, it do long it javelin do the olympic throw do the olympic throw toss i fucking believe no! No! i just go straight in the tree right ahead of him <laughs> he's up, he's running. Uh, what are we doing so uh i have a thing uh one of my invocations is eldritch spear so yep. my uh, Eldritch Blast is 300, 300 feet. Yep, uh, yep. Oh yep. absolutely. And, uh, so do it. You can attack uh, yeah, with so the next four turns. Do this, it. This, this, is, this is all accidental stuff happening, but he is fucking delirious from having been horribly stabbed and bleeding out right now. Uh, so I'm going to blast another Eldritch Blast at this guy's head. Uh, here I go. Yes. Nine. How Miss. far is he now? <laughs> You're gonna keep going. <laughs> you literally have, I think, three turns, right? Uh, now he's 180 feet, feet away. <laughs> Godspeed. Uh, I'll, I'll take another shot. Damage. You don't have to. How do you just oh fight him? <laughs> this Make him like gets... tiny in the distance. <laughs> this this bolt just fucking hits the back of this dude's head and just fucking keeps going through his head and out the other side. Debrained he, hole in his head. He just goes... <laughs> he, he just kind of goes, Ooh, and just falls over <laughs> body. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I need to go to the doctor and see if uh, this, what this cold is about. Oh, I don't believe really on the air. Well, how you doing? Hey, wait. Before Say you again? go... Hey, wait. Stop. Uh, Thomas is gonna begin digging through the corpse of this guy to try oh, to fetch out it's, the it's, It like spilled, it not spilled out, but the, the coin pack's right there. He was like, like he's kind of like had it h- h- held on while he was. Oh, oh I, I found it. Okay, he's gonna pick it up and he's gonna approach this old bag, it, it, just beaming. And he's like, oh, um, here, here you go, mister. Oh, you uh, don't have to pay me for anything. What? Oh, this is yours. I haven't done any. I don't work here. I, um, <laughs> all, all right. I'd like to try to make a sleight of hand in order to put it into like his pocket or something. <laughs> please, please. Uh, let's see here. What's your passive? Ten. Uh, your wisdom score is a. You do already have perception. Uh, you're gonna watch as Tobby just reaches for your pocket. Help! Puts the coin back <laughs> into it. <laughs> I'm so, I'm gonna leave crossing and slap Tommy's hand. Well, hey, I can learn that. I'm, I'm trying to give him his money back. He doesn't understand. He's senile. Oh, old well, timer. How are you? Do you, do you have anyone to take care of you? Do you I don't like think a, my grandson's around here somewhere. 
Um. Where are we? You're in, oh, no. you're in Fandolin. It's a minor town. <laughs> Tell me. Who's your uh, grandson? Oh, no. Can we keep him? <laughs> oh, my grandson, Stephen. He's such a nice boy. I don't That's... know any Stephen, I'm afraid. Um... But you're more than welcome to share our table and get your wounds tended to. Yes, yeah, I we were just we were just having. Oh, where did this come from? Sylvester's going to notice his wound. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Happened again. Oh, <laughs> Sylvester pests <out. laughs> <laughs> I... Oh no! Oh, I... Did I bump into a corner? Um, Tommy with his healer's kit would be able to evaluate. But really, this guy is fine. He just needs to rest it off. Two thirds just... dead is not fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you're you not. You're not on no, fine. I was two thirds dead in vehicles. real life. I wouldn't say I'm fine. All, All I'm right. saying Sylvester. is that he didn't need to stabilize you, which means you're fine. <laughs> Sylvester's <laughs> perpetually two thirds dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, I really think this guy could just keel over and and kick it any second now. But kick it. I, I think Sorry. He, I think I think he'd be all right. After a bit of a rest, so can we just let's get him back just, inside. We just like give him a bed. Hey, I think it's right. the right oh. thing to do. And a bath. <laughs> we can do that. Give me a moment. I'm going to strip the red brands. Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that I'm going to take my all the in the center of the room. <laughs> yes, I'm going to strip them. Yes, sir. Uh, here's three short swords. Uh, and three studded leathers, or unless you're keeping their leathers on. No, I'm gonna take their armor. Yeah, okay. Uh, as a wizard, do I have proficiency with leather armor? Uh, no, you don't think you have pers okay. proficiency with any armor as Okay, a wizard. that's what I thought. I wanted to make sure, though. Of course. Always ask. Okay. Uh, uh I think, I think what's gonna happen... <clears throat> Is uh, it's gonna be he's gonna direct Tommy and Turg to take old man Sylvester into uh into the inn to take care of him, and Veldrin is gonna go bury the bodies. <laughs> oh my God. Right, come on, they Turg. don't get they don't get a Gideon burial. They get a ditch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you get the head on it, way. Yeah, him up I, by the legs. I, I, I can carry Tommy like lifts him up by the horns. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, the second to, either of you start to pick up Sylvester, you hear cracking that does not sound <laughs> or feel very oh good. Like um, it doesn't seem uh, like sounds that should be made. I am um, sure it's fine, like, like, uh, like, 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 like Yeah, I sometimes I crack a little bit when I get out of bed. So it's I, uh, what's this? What's this? <laughs> he's gonna bend one of the feet just to hear the crack. <laughs> <laughs> The amount oh, of cracking is disturbing. Okay, all right, you could stop <laughs> like that now. Like crushing a can. <laughs> it's like crushing like a plastic bottle <laughs> and like twisting it around. <laughs> I, I hate this. Let's get a bit of bed. <laughs> okay, I, okay. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. <laughs> I just love oh, the no, idea. Oh no, that is <laughs> I love the idea that it's so audible. Like yeah. he's a block away and can hear them moving bubble wrap into the next house. Like, <laughs> holy shit! Well, we do have a Sylvester now. Uh, you all will return to the inn um, for tonight uh, because this tech this technically was was between. Um, so you still got some of your level two abilities. Um, but the, we're doing the long rest now just for, for story's sake, uh, just in case rules lawyer out there is like, but do you, they didn't technically level up. We're, it's fine. We're, we're fine. Um, I'd rather do so this we're not, narratively. Are we not technically level two? Tech, technically, no. But I like oh, the shit. idea of, well, I like the idea of this happening during the evening than in the morning. Otherwise, we would have just done the same thing in the morning. And I was like, nah, let's do it in the evening. You guys are hanging out. Yeah. You're having some drinks. You're getting to know each other. And then oh, I get it. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know you guys are cool with it. I'm looking at, you know, ah, the lawyers. 
Yes, the lawyers. Squints, squints the lawyers. lawyers. The lawyers. Squints the lawyers. So, but I do have some good news. So, um, what was I about to say? Sildar, uh, as part of his thanks to you, uh, would kindly give you guys um, rent out two rooms for the night. Um, he's also renting out a room and he is he's sleeping. He's sleeping it off because it's been a really freaking rough day. Um, did we ever divvy up the rest of the gold? I think we had like 150 uh, gold that I we were playing with. So. OK, I think I think it would be good if we like. Yeah, I, I, we have 150 just gold. It off stream. I got. 50 gold for the weapon shipment and then Correct. there was 150 the 50 for finding Sildar, and then the 100 for escorting him oh no it's the reverse Correct. 100 for finding him 50 for escorting him back correct he happily paid you 50 for escorting him back um and was uh asked to give you a hundred uh for finding him and figuring out what exactly happened so there's 150 gold floating around and i'd like to figure out how we're divvying it up the so you guys are probably gonna hate me. Um Veldrin would have tried to have given Brian and Cookie before she left a a cut of it because they escorted Sildar back. Well, um, technically Cookie didn't. She went to the, the fork in the road and went, see you losers, and then walked on the other yeah, side. Yeah, I'll I'll <laughs> say also like yeah, yeah. Don't don't even worry about that. But oh, like I, the, I I get that that's what you would have tried to do though. He, he'd still try to give money to Brian then. The uh, crestfallen <laughs> bard, he would be like, it's not much, but um, hopefully it's enough for you to get your life started. And then... How much is he trying to give him? Uh, he would try to give him uh, his share of the coin. So Veldrin's not going to take a share of the money. He's going to try and give his share to Brian. So um, I think I think Brian would give back everything but 10, keep 10 gold to get himself home to say like he would have said something along the lines of like, no, mate, money's not everything. I just want to go. Home. <laughs> and he's just going <laughs> to walk off with the 10. Jesus. Just enough to get him going. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Brian oh. makes me so fucking sad. <laughs> What a buzzkill, am I right? Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, so we'll do 46 gold pieces to Turg. We'll do 46 over to Veldrin. Uh, let me do this. So 46, 46 plus 84. You're at 130 now. And then what's 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 little Tommy at? What what kind of money are we uh, looking at for Thomas? He's at 50. He, so yeah, he's at 50. So we'll add 46. He's at 96. Yay. Veldrin would split his uh, his cut and give 23 to Turg and 23 to... Uh, there is two gold pieces floating before we do that. Um, who would take the two gold? I'd use the two gold to pay for our rooms. Oh, okay. The rooms were already... Yeah, that, that, that works. Okay, more, you're good. The more room time. Two more days. Two more, two days, more days. Right? Oh, actually, no. That would be if you're two rooms. Yeah, that would be two more days. You are correct. Perfect. All right, and you said you wanted to give 23 gold over to Turg? And 23. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, oh right. see, I, I don't like taking extra money. In character, I follow the God of Greed. Yeah. Oh. He's like, yep, yep, yep. Give me that. Give me that. <laughs> I'll be in my build. <laughs> if, if you're sure, if you really don't need it. I have enough coin as this. Oh, then fine. you look like you could use it to buy yourself something nice. Is that a humble oh, brag? Thank, thank you. <laughs> I look about the raccoon in the corner of the room. Yes. Thank, thank you, Mr. Beast. <laughs> I got Holy. 50 gold for talking to an old lady. So, yeah, I'm doing just fine. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, all right. So, you guys will do a long rest for the evening. I'm happy to report that each of you for that uh, evening excursion would have gained 75 experience, putting the party total at 651 XP. Yeah. Uh, we gotta kill more random bandits. <laughs> we want sending <laughs> Sylvester out into the street and just yeah. trying to steal we, we ironically become the bandits by using you as our bait material. <laughs> That's so good. Oh my god, this is how we could have done the goblin cave sooner. It was just farming <laughs> bandits. Uh all right. It is now. Boop, boop. The next day. 
Uh, you guys would go. Uh, you would be offered uh, a little bit of uh, breakfast if you'd like. Uh, three silver piece of pop for those that are interested. Everyone having breakfast? You're fed for the day? Yeah, I'll brekkie. A little brekkie? brekkie. Yeah, we we'll breakfast. I'm going to check when on everyone Sylvester. Wakes up. <laughs> yeah, you're going, when you get to Sylvester, it's going to be one of those things where you're like, is he breathing? <laughs> is he <laughs> oh, no. And then he has that, like, that really sudden, like, <laughs> Sound. <laughs> oh. Hello. Who are you? Where and am I? You're, you're in Fandolin, looking for your grandson. Ah, uh, yes. Where's Stephen? I'm afraid I don't know where he is, but uh, I hope you're well. You had a pretty nasty spill last night. Oh, I feel fine. Thank you. Of course. We're about to have breakfast if you'd like to join us. Oh, that sounds lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're going to uh, escort <laughs> Sylvester downstairs to breakfast. It takes you right, twice I the time as you're slowly going down the stairs. Yeah, what's Ooh, up? let's Hi. slow down there. Uh, yes, Judy. May I roll my... Uh, two d20s. Oh, you absolutely oh, may. Okay, sorry. I'm like so eager because I've never played this uh, class before. So, okay. oh, if you mouse oh. over features, I've made you a portant ability. Oh, you have. Oh shit. Sorry, All you have to do is roll. no. You're good. Ooh, All you have to do is goodness. click that portant, and uh, it'll roll the twice for you. The two numbers. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. Do I have to do that now? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that night team. Sorry about that, um, bud. Both of those are still good. Hey, I mean, yeah, that's still that's still solid. I see. Yeah, yeah they the, they don't have to be dice for us. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> All right, four and thirteen will be today's lucky numbers. Cool. <laughs> don't be too excited. <laughs> what? What do you us. mean? Don't be too that's, excited. That's gonna save us. <laughs> well, maybe. four and a thirteen. That's four gonna 13, be huge. Good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys would have a little bit of eggs, uh, some old bread uh, with some chicken broth that you can kind of like dip in. Uh, and that will be today's uh, today's breakfast. The world is your oyster. Fandolin uh, is here for you. What would you like to do now? Is it time? Do we do a... <gasps> I want to talk <laughs> about our next quest. I... Are we going to... I can't really say it. I'm like, I don't know if someone else do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Turg, what do we got on the agenda? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Explain <laughs> everything we could do. Being in Fandolin is um, being here in interesting times. There's a number of things going on for the Lord's Alliance and for the people here. We met a couple of them last night in the form of Red Brands. So... I propose we go cut the head off that snake and be done with it. Hey, I, I propose. There's a dragon in the area. My dwarven brothers are going to need that. Okay, so I say we go warn the dwarves. Make sure they don't get in my dragon. Right. What um, about Cryovane? All right. Oh, I, I don't know if I'm exactly ready to take on a whole band of bandits right now, but I remember Sildar mentioning that uh, someone that he knows called Iarno Outbrack had gone missing uh, around a manor, and I sort of want to go I, it's, I'm just kind of curious is all. Also, we got a hundred <sighs> gold pieces as a reward if we find out anything. Alright. <laughs> Open, Sildar. Sylvester, do you have any idea what's going on? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sylvester's here looking for his grandson, Stephen. Only we have a full option. You? All right. <laughs> I don't Steven, imagine we'll be taking him on our quest. Why are you wearing that hat? Why are you covering your funny little horns, Stephen? Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I will say, <laughs> you are... <laughs> oh, my God. He thinks Thomas is Stephen. It's <laughs> just... Um, you are this, a halfling, right? I, I am a halfling. Hey, is this something I should encourage? Or uh, probably not. Probably not. Engage no. with. It feels mm -hmm. unethical to 
much with it. No, oh, I might, might, might have felt better. You should do it. <laughs> I should do it. Hey, well, oh, you can't let it do anything wrong. No, I'm getting conflicting answers. I guess I'll just... I'm going to roll... Okay, are we going to roll our d20s to see... Well, do you know what the problem is? <laughs> What, Mario said that? he would roll for the Banshee. His yeah, I, that, I, can't scene, do, I can't do it. I can't do it. Yeah. The, is. the second we started doing this in character, I was like, oh, yeah, mine's out. <laughs> like, yeah, oh, yeah. Wait like... a minute. <laughs> That's why I was laughing under my breath. Because we all eyes turned to Sylvester and he has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I don't want to uh, assume anything. However, your whatever your form of magic is, uh, old timer is rather potent. It's and quite good. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no. I've got a cold. Well, you have a pretty wicked cold. And I do. That I do, whippersnapper. If <laughs> you would be so inclined, I would like to help you find your grandson. He's if... right there. <laughs> I ain't that. Uh, that's that's my grandson, that. Stephen. I'm not. It makes him feel better. I like that. It's going to be incredibly awkward when we. Who are you two? Oh, these these are my uh, friends. We're traveling together for now. My name mm. is Veldrin. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Yeah. You. Hello. You two better not be a bad influence on my grandson, or I will. Who the things I'll do to you? I understand, sir. <laughs> now I'll be oh, sure yeah. to refrain. Okay. Um, have we eaten uh, breakfast yet? We are currently yeah. eating it right now. <laughs> a plate. You have a bowl of porridge in front of you. <laughs> 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 this isn't mine. Um, I'm, a, I'm afraid. I think it. I'm afraid he's, he's, he's imprinted on me like some kind of baby duck. But so then you have a considerable amount of responsibility now. That, that's <laughs> right. Um, so... I, I would feel bad about leaving him if I'm if he's like a baby duck on me, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I am broken. Okay. Then how about this? Tell me. If we go out and we do one of these adventures, you need to make sure that you stay at his side. Um, okay. I'll, I'll do my best. I believe you will. So... Let's roll our d20s. <laughs> what is that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll for it. All right. Well, it's not gonna be uh, uh, whoever that guy was. Why am I Gabriel? What's what? that brat doing? Oh, what here? the fuck? <laughs> oh, why are you Gabriel? What the? <laughs> I, I, well, Gabriel won. Veldrin... What did Gabriel pick? <laughs> Veldrin goes to roll his dice. Gabriel walks up, takes the dice out of his hand, rolls it for him, gives him a kiss on the cheek, and then proceeds to walk away. <laughs> wow. Okay, so that's uh, that was the red bands, right? Mm -hmm. That was hunting down the uh, the red brand bandits. Very cool. All right, I'm done. Okay. So we're gonna take care of this bandit problem, right? There. Are harassing old folks on the street and taking their money. I can't just hey. sit idly. Hey. Neither can I. I am not guy. How about this? You just recently suffered a very terrible fate at the hands of some goblins. So, let's get you some new equipment. Oh. Um looks around. I don't think I can upgrade any of my equipment past what I already have. <laughs> oh. Like, I I'm pretty sure wizards can't wear anything other than, like, normal-ass clothes. You know? That is correct. Yeah. So, I don't really think there's much more I could get. I don't, unless think, there's I like don't think he can cast spells if he's in armor that he's not proficient with. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, it's much appreciated, but I really, really think I have the the maximum of what I need. Really? Yeah. When was the last time you checked your boats? Uh, just just this morning, I bought like ten more. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Um, he looks at the floor. He looks around. 
Um, I feel a bit guilty telling you about this, but I used to travel with another party. Uh, and all of them eat well. They're, um, anyways, they left a room, a storage room that they were renting in the inn. And I'm sure there's a lot of knickknacks there that you might find useful. I could lead it. I could lead you to you if you want. Would you be I... okay with that? If they were your traveling yeah. companions and your friends? I mean, it's not like they're gonna be able to do anything with them now. That they're dead or gone. Hey. hey. Really, uh, um, it's doing, I, I think, a courtesy to the objects themselves. Because otherwise they wouldn't be used the way they were intended. Okay, I've got that one. Let's go break a nubbin. It's very good. Right. Uh, yeah. I want to show the the folks the storage room that the last party was using. All uh, right. And basically, if you like, yo, go go ham in there. So, uh, just just so everyone is aware, um, mm -hmm. this storage was being uh, who paid for the room? I don't remember. I think Brian did. All right. So the Brian. room is in Brian's name. Um, you were able oh. to open it and go through and everything like that. Uh, but, uh, if Tolbin sees you going in, uh, cause no one's been paying for that room. He's going to start hunting people down and being like, Hey, it's been a 10 day. Give me five gold pieces. So you can still go in there and try and grab it, but you're gonna have to be a little sneaky about it. Oh. So absolutely. Uh, I, uh, Oh God. Once again, my character conflicting, uh, he would go pay. <laughs> nah. Uh, to uh Toblin would be like, and the and what's this for? There's a, a room being occupied by a number of uh, previous adventurers who haven't come back. They have some equipment in there, and I've uh, I'm led to believe that it's been a ten day since they were here. Oh, well, he unfortunately, bites the, he bites the coin. Oh, so it was very kind of you. Many of them perished. So oh, he shrugs. <laughs> He's just like, happens. It does. We'd like to reuse their equipment if possible. So I pay for the room. Yeah, go, what's in there. Yeah, go nuts. Appreciate it. Uh all right. So I believe you might have at let me let me switch you over and get you access to party storage one. My God, 55 bags of sand. Yeah, what? Who do you want? Oh, fucking useless <laughs> thing to buy. <laughs> you can't say that. That that sand helped us <laughs> so much. <laughs> it did? Yes. He disarmed traps with sand. <laughs> he, he tortured people with sand. <laughs> True. He's not dead. He's living his good life right now. <laughs> yeah, he's the unlucky one. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and pull up. Now that I've given you there. Good douche. Little, stor little storage action for you. So uh, inside we've got two scimitars, two short bows, two nets, two sets of common clothes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, about 81 half rations. So 81 days of food. Uh, wa a water skin, 18 bags of sand, damn. A grappling hook, damn. Four bed rolls, a shovel, a tinder box, a mess kit, a crowbar, damn, and a blanket. Ooh. I'll Ooh. grab the shovel and grappling hook. Yeah, yeah. I'll, we need the I'm grappling gonna take hook the for crowbar. Sure. Uh, um, yeah, Sylvester couldn't get up the stairs to the <laughs> so give up. Tommy looks at the bag of sand. How heavy is it? Uh one moment. So you're you're saying you you'll take the crowbar, correct? Yeah. All right. I'm already I'm already encumbered and I need to go sell stuff today anyway, but okay. we're going to pack up on some equipment. Uh for sand, the total will be 9 pounds. 9 pounds? For all 18 bags, it's a half a pound oh, a bag. Oh, no, no, no. I just wanted one bag of sand. Understood. You would pick it up. It'd be half a pound. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Some part of me, aside from picking over some of the smaller tertiary things here, I think we pay for the room and 
continue where your friends left off. Use this as our storage room. I, I think that's a good idea. I mean, there's about several months worth of rations here, so. <laughs> you, yeah, there's there's a lot of food in here. Hey. All right. Okay. I'm gonna go pay for another ten day to house our supplies here. The five goals spent and done. I'll make a note right now because currently it's the 25th. Uh, you are good until the 5th. Through this date in room. All right. Note has been made. Looks around. Did the old man not come with us? <laughs> um, I think he... Oh no, he couldn't make it up the stairs. <laughs> well, let's just You're just like just hearing go in the distance. Down. Oh. As oh. he's just trying to like get up the oh, stairs and no. just can't really bend his knees enough to do it. I'll be right back. Keep picking through the supplies. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going to go help Grandpa back to the porridge. <laughs> get him a fresh <laughs> cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, lunchtime already. <laughs> We're going to be visiting some of the local stores today. So, if you have anything you'd like to buy, we can take you there first. Oh, I don't need much of anything at all. I live a simple life. You see? Very well. We'll, uh, we'll keep an eye out for your grandson as well. I thought you were friends with my grandson. Where's Stephen? What, what are you, you gonna do, to do Veldred? What are you gonna do? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not friends with your grandson. I'm afraid I, I don't see. know who Stephen is. You said he's a young tiefling, right? Well, he, yes, he's young. He's a wee lad. I'm afraid I haven't. You're the only tiefling I've seen thus far. Well, that's a shame. But that doesn't mean he's not here. We can take a look. Well, thank you very much for that. What's uh, what's your name? My name is Veldrin. Velcro, I understand. <laughs> there's a there's a a warm smile as you yeah. very gently reach up and pat uh, Sylvester's shoulder. Oh! Right <laughs> Apologies. It's okay. I'm just so old now. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Fuck. It's very rare to meet people in their twilight years. So I imagine you have a birth of wisdom, and I look forward to hearing your uh, your tales. <laughs> All know, right. You don't be so old. <laughs> We're going to go back to the party and uh, help them continue to pluck out supplies. Uh, I'm done plucking out supplies. Also, I forgot to take my log rest. Haha, <laughs> whoopsie. I'll do it. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I did it. Whoops. <laughs> so eager for long rest. All right. So what okay. are you all doing? We need to make a plan of attack. But the Red Rants. We need to find... Um... Who was it? There was, like, one... Person that the Red Brands don't bother that somebody was talking about, right? Oh. Um... Thor Thornton. In the Miners Exchange. I don't believe... Probably... I believe that's... I believe you have that information. Oh, I don't, think, I don't think we got that info. Oh, 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 you're right. Okay. I think that's whatever. a Tommy. Different, I mean, different it's, party, et cetera. Thing. Yeah, it still <laughs> works, though. That's great. I, okay. I just remembered. Um, There's uh, someone I know about called Halia Thornton. Uh, They work in the mines. Or maybe not the mines, exactly. They work for Fandolin's Miners Exchange. Apparently, the red brands leave them totally alone. We should... 
maybe find out if they have some sort of a business agreement. All right. Where did you um? Where'd you come by this information? I don't remember. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> it has been a it has been a fair bit, so no worries. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't even know if it's a mine or just like a, a business that we have to get in contact with, really. <laughs> maybe maybe I should just go ask around. I'm sure somebody will know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we can do that. Let's um let's pick out whatever we need from here. And then um mm -hmm. <laughs> go visit the local stores and ask mm -hmm. around. Because I need to right. sell some equipment as well. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Uh, like I said, the stage what are is we doing? set. <laughs> uh, we are finishing up, picking out all the items from the storage, and then I think we're going to go to a shop and ask if where we can find the uh, one second. I love that I, I'm RPing so hard that you out of character no, 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 still no, no, needed no. to answer that question. No, I think Brett also <laughs> Brett also like asked whatever. We have to um, I didn't. Vandalin's minor. Wait, didn't? Somebody said something. Well, no, okay, so Brett said uh, the, the world is your oyster and then and then you're tomorrow right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm like, done picking shit out. Yeah. I, I essentially have to. I have to. You have to be. You have Get to be out of her mind, Charles. I'm done with the fucking storage room. I'm literally walking out the door. That's how done I am with the storage room. I'm just. <laughs> I don't get W's against Junie very often. I'm really glad when I have oh, the opportunity. Oh, you know I can't win them all. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, you guys are free to go wherever you wish. Let's go find um. My voters should go here so we can sell stuff. Smart. Mm -hmm. All right, go on. You, yeah, feel free. You can move your token now. Oh, I don't see my token. <laughs> what? This token's cursed, man. <laughs> this this token specifically, this token, it's cursed. I just I just see a like yeah. nighttime seat. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you keep, keep moving your beer away. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, yeah wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Miss Miss Greywin, uh, Miss Greywind runs the uh, the Lion Shield Custer, so that's why I've been selling a lot of my equipment too. Okay. Oh, I right. think Maybe it's a deal. Why not? Yeah, we can ask them if they know where to go to in order to find the, uh... Vandalin's Miners Exchange. Hey. All right. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, yes, hello. Hey, who, what? Oh, if it isn't my favorite customer, Veldrin. Ah. It's a pleasure to see you again, ma'am. Mm -hmm. The pleasure is mine for getting your goods uh, brought here from the caves today. I wanted I'm to glad. thank you for everything that you've done. I'm glad that I could be of help, and mm. it wouldn't have been possible without my companions behind me. Oh, Hi. hello. Well, aren't you a sweet little yo little one? Um, hi. Oh, sorry, I wasn't talking to you. I meant, and then points over to Turg. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if you can't, you can't see blushing, but you can tell his nose goes right. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Why would I care about a 32-year-old halfling? I'm what actually <laughs> 45, but... Thanks. Oh, you look very young for your age. Okay, I That's care. Lovely. Yeah, no, I know. Oh my god, she, she's so catty. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Uh, so what can I do for you today, dear? Uh, I have a number of equipment I'd like to uh, sort of sell off. Okay. Well, what do you have for me today? Can you open the uh, shop? Let me see if I have it. Uh, I can't. I gotta figure out why you do that. Anyways, here you go. Uh, I'm gonna sell my stuff now. Do you want me to purchase some things? We got a scimitar. Mm. 
sell that. Hmm, this is a nice quality. Where did you get this from? Ah, that was from the, the same goblin cave. Oh. I, uh... I shouldn't have even uh, shipped goods. We should have just wiped out the goblin cave and got <laughs> all of the been able to. I'm a small initia, m oh, yeah. militia, initial yeah, militia. Leave... <laughs> we did leave behind a, a fair bit of weaponry, so you know, uh, your folks, if they go through, they'll uh, they'll be bringing back a fair bit. Well, that's Dang. lovely. I did procure some. Um, some more, uh, probably distasteful sets of armor, but uh, a clean wash and uh, maybe another dunk through some dye, and you'll uh, you have a set of you have some sets of. I've uh, seen cards pieces before, dear. Let's see them. <laughs> he would hand out or set down the three sets of red brand studded leather armor. Oh, <laughs> he looks at it. <laughs> she, she'll look at it. She looks up to you. Dear, are those red brands? They are. <laughs> well, I accept it gladly. There's I'm not going to sell it so, so I don't become an enemy of the red brands, but <laughs> let's just consider this a uh, personal trade. I appreciate it. She's so cool. Uh, and then we're going to... Yeah, we're going to trade off the uh, the remaining stuff. We're going to trade off a, a final short bow. Oh, little twangy twang. Here you go. I appreciate it. And then uh, we're going to sell off the, the three short swords. Uh, the issue is that you gave me the red brand's melee attack instead of the short swords. Oh, that's pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh. Here you go. Hands over a fist, a closed fist. I just hand you over like raw code. <laughs> I'm like, here you go. <laughs> I could see into the matrix. I I looked away very quickly when I saw their, <laughs> their, their, <laughs> that it was a melee attack and I was like, uh-oh, that's uh, pluses to hit. <laughs> don't look. <laughs> <laughs> Can't look. Peaks a little bit. Don't want to look. All right. So three. All right. You've got three short swords. And I will show those two. Mm. Also from the red browns. <laughs> mm. I'll, uh, I'll yeah. keep them hidden away for a rainy day. Like when we <laughs> use their own weapons against those <laughs> bastards. <laughs> Well, if things go right, uh, you shouldn't be waiting. Veldrin, shut up for a second. Who's this man? Hello. Look back, <laughs> looks around for a moment, then looks back and oh. sees Sylvester. <laughs> oh, hello there. I've never seen you in town before. I don't think I've been in town for very long. Oh, I can tell. Oh, anyways, so <laughs> a little flushed, dear. Uh, what other business did you have? I've got customers. Um, miss. Oh, he sticks his tiny little hand into the air. Yes. We actually need help finding something or finding someone. Uh, do you know where we can find the Fandolin's Miners Exchange? What do you want to do at the Fandolin's Miner Exchange? Oh. Oh, you have personal grievances with them, I see. Mm, I wouldn't say grievances, just suspicions. Well, we're, definitely, we're definitely not going to negotiate with them. We're going to try to find out more information about the Red Brand so that we can eradicate them completely. Hmm. Oh... Mm, I'll tell you where the exchange is, dear, but that one is very suspicious. Uh, the Red Brands purposely stay away from Mahalia, and that usually means bad news either way. They are either, she could either be an ally of the Red Brands, or worse, Alia could be a bigger threat against the red brands and isn't doing a damn thing about it huh. anyways oh. it's right down the road dearie all you have to do um <laughs> one 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 second uh, excuse me sir can you just hold my hand very quickly and she like reaches her hand out 
keep yeah, yeah, just gotta keep my balance, dear. If you can just oh. hold my hands right there, just rub my wrists right over there, please. Okay. Uh, oh, oh. Very warm touch. Oh, good blood flow. Anyways, it's uh <laughs> right over here, uh, just across the way. And she'll point over to the south. Right, and is Haria normally on the premises? Oh, yeah, she never leaves that place. You'll probably be able to see her during the normal business hours. Right. All right, thank you. Thank you. That's much appreciated. We're going to take care of this Fred Brand situation, right? Oh, dear. Well, I, uh, if you're going to speak with her, I'm sure she's a nice lady. Just, I don't know what the fuck her deal is. So if you can... <laughs> <laughs> if, yes, you, if you could figure that out for me, why, I'd be very thankful. Understood. All right, let's go try to win her over with our overwhelming charm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, good, good seeing you too, sir. What's your name? What's your name? Who? You. Who? You. I don't know what's happening. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> she looks. She looks down and says, uh, "I knew it. I was too forward." Damn, Lenine. <laughs> another twenty years single. Well, have a good day, Veldrin. Uh. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? <laughs> uh, b before I leave, um, you wouldn't have happened to have seen another tiefling pass through this area. Uh, a tiefling very similar to Sylvester. That's the hmm. old man with us. Let me think. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Oh, she snaps her fingers. I did see a tiefling recently. Oh, dear. I don't know how long ago it was. Did they look anything like Sylvester? Oh, uh, I don't know who that is, but uh, he was a, a striking elderly man with a big bushy beard. Oldest tiefling I've ever seen. <laughs> There's, There's a moment. moment. <laughs> There's a moment where he realization slowly dawns on Veldrin and his features become very placid. When did his... I see him again? It must have been a 10 day or something like that. I've been, think <laughs> I've been thinking about him all the time. I understand. I am um, so sad. I appreciate you for your time and your generosity. I hope that we can continue to do business in the future. Of course, dear. Have a good day. Oh, and yes, say yes. hi to Sylvester for me. Such a sweet lad. I will do so for you. <laughs> he doesn't say anything. <laughs> he, joins, he joins the party again, sort of adjusting the, the satchels on his waist, and he just sort of... <clears throat> when did she, right. she point it down the road? Yeah, we're off to Vandelfra's <laughs> Miners Exchange. All right. Come on. I'll All be, right. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, actually, we'll take a small. Oh, we'll, perfect. We'll take a small. Like... Yeah, do it. Do it. Break time. Break time. See you guys in a little bit.
and we're unmuted. Hello, hello, we're back. Hi. So, okay. uh, yeah, you guys were pointed into the general direction of where Halia is. And uh, yeah, yeah uh, the stage is set. Yeah, we uh, we press on. Let's go. Uh, on. Let's go meet this uh, this individual. Oh. <laughs> Are we supposed to knock, or is this an establishment where we can like? Oh, walk so you'll as it? as you approach it, you already see it completely open. This kind of it functions as like the trade post of the town, mm -hmm. where local okay. miners ha miners have their uh, valuables finds uh, weighed, measured, and paid out. Um, because there is no real lord or authority here, um, as you go in there, you'll see, uh, this woman standing behind the desk, uh, but you'll also see, like, this open area in the back where all the records are being stored, um, of the town. Like, everything, like, all the, like, like just like the census information, you know, all the, all <laughs> the, all the records are kept here, uh, within the miners' exchange because there is no authority to look after them. Um, it was literally something that Alia approached to, to Harbin and was like, and was like, Town Master, you've got so much going on here. I don't mind uh, taking, uh, allowing a little bit of responsibility if it helps the town. Of course, Harbin would have been like, oh, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. I, I delegate that to you. You're now the unofficial records keeper and I'll just be here. Uh, so she's essentially managed to transform the, uh, the miners exchange into quite literally the unofficial record office of the city. Is, is she a tiefling? Uh, no, she's just a human. Um, but if you look, she just kind of she kind of has a crown worn. She has like a very yeah, ornate, kind of stylish. Helmet. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, well, I guess we'd. Uh, are we 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 planning before we go in? What's our? Uh... Yeah, yeah. Tommy slows to a stop. Um, how would? You how exactly are we supposed to approach her about this? Well, we don't approach her directly. That's All one right. way to get her caught off guard. Or we should be sneaky about it, maybe. Uh, one thing that we could do is basically ask about any of the mining expeditions that have been going on, and that if uh, the Red Brands have been showing any interest in any of the local miners, Oh, all right, you're a lot better at this than I am. I think I would have just asked her directly. I, I mean, we can, that. but if there are so many rumors flowing around that she's in league with the Red Brands, you know, maybe it's not best that we ask her directly. Mm, okay. Looks back. <laughs> I, yeah, I do not see the ball. beard elemental. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> Sorry, I hadn't moved on the map. <laughs> All right. That's, um... <laughs> let's, let's go on. <laughs> give it a try. He'll come in. Uh, you kind of hear the bustling, a little bit of exchange that is being happen uh, that that's happening. Uh, you'll, w you'll kind of actually watch as Halia has a couple of, um, sort of these... The, these burly assistants that are also helping with the delegating of trade uh, as various miners are coming through the area. Um, you'll walk in uh, to see her speaking with uh, with an elderly woman, and she'll state there, it's like, we're still trying to clear the records so that you can go ahead and purchase the plot of land, but it's going to take some time. I, I understand that this is the responsibility of what I can do, um, but we need to wait for contact from Neverwinter. I'm sorry, would you be able to handle it for a few more days? And, you know, she nods a little bit and says, I, let me, let, let, let me go ahead and, and, um, I'll talk to Toblin. We'll make sure that you have a, at least a room for the next couple of nights while I hopefully expedite this. I might know a couple of, uh, a couple of people that might be able to get this done for you. All right. Mm, take care now. And she'll kind of say that with a smile. And then she goes, next, uh, looking directly at the four of you. Uh. Go first. <laughs> would step up. Um, uh, the most immediate thing, first off, is uh, having heard that Neverwinter comment and being uh, sort of more in tune with more like metropolitan or cityscapes. Does she bear any of like the mining guilds or like any of the artisan guild heraldry here? Oh, absolutely. 
Yes, uh, any of the her heraldry that would be allowed for trade, she has. Okay. Um, then he would basically approach. Um, A pleasure. We were directed here uh, with some inquiries. Yes, I was wondering when you'd grace my doorstep. There's been a lot of talk of the uh, of the lot of you. Not this one, though. <laughs> she points over at the teeth, like, Ooh. over at <laughs> Sylvester. That's a... Uh... Uh, a compatriot who Don't we are worry. currently in the process of helping. <laughs> ah, yes. I heard you had a, a bit of a little bit of a scuffle last night in the defense of someone that was ailing. Good on you. Insight check. Go for it. You, is she cool? I was about to say, is she you like heard? actually? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wasn't that in it, the middle <laughs> of the night? Go for it. Uh, yeah, she... She she uh mm. she is she is being truthful. Yeah, is she like cool with it though, or is she like secretly like? Oh, oh man, like is she holding it there? Yeah, uh, she. <sighs> I'm trying to explain this. <laughs> okay. There is joy in that statement. Interesting. Mm. Okay. Um. Okay. I was probably going to reach out uh, to you in the pe and then in a the couple of days, but um. Um, I was hoping to learn a, a little bit more of what happened in the evening before. Uh, just out of curiosity, of course. Without a constable or a town guard, there's only uh, so much that words alone can share. The well, you know what? No. <laughs> well, what happened? What? What? What made it so that you crossed uh, paths with the red brands? She'll say that in like a slight hushed tone. The um, old man behind I, us was being a cost. Oh. Can I can I be honest with her? I'm getting I'm getting good vibes. I'm getting good vibes. She's, I'm good vibes I'm <laughs> she's <not>. vibing. Veldrin, <laughs> a a spy who has to put off good vibes a lot, sort of looks at Tommy and goes, "All right, <laughs> understood." Yeah, well, well, they were threatening this old man here. They were taking his money, um, <sighs> and, and when I saw that, it made me really angry because it means, well, I mean, he's an old fellow and he's not quite right up there. And he probably had to work really hard mm -hmm. for that money. Mm -hmm. um, and if they've done it once, they'll mm -hmm. do it again. So I, mm -hmm. I, I, I put one of them down permanently. The one who instigated it. Oh, I, dear. She she hushes. She hushes a little bit. Oh, oh, sorry. It's just, it's just. They're like dogs, you know? They got a taste for it. Dear. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Veldrin slowly looks back at Tommy. Uh, she, as she's shushing him, you just see this wide smile on her face. Dear, these are things that you should best keep to yourself. Well, I mean... Well, accidents happen. You were defending yourself against the villainous red brands, and you were defending yourself. Surely you didn't mean to kill someone. It just happened. And there right. won't be a tear shed for a red brand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we were asking, we were actually here to inquire about if the red brands have been giving trouble to any of your clientele. Uh, they have from time to time. Um, but they don't seem to travel this far south. I'm uncertain of the reason, but I'm sure it's because mm, they know, uh, they know a bit more of my profession. He raises a brow. She raises one back and says, so you have no love for the red brands. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> well, then perhaps I might have some information for you that if you were okay witnessing a couple more 
red brand accidents and this threat were to resolve itself, perhaps there'd be a little gold involved for you. Okay. Is that, um, is that why you were going to reach out to us? I, I'm afraid it was. The red brands have been acting as if they've, they've owned, they owned this city. And just because they can get whatever they want through sheer might alone, they need a lesson. They need to know that Fandolin does not belong to them, but it belongs to the people. And, and you need adventurers. That's right. I do need adventurers. I've been hearing the murmurs of several individuals, and I've also understand that there has been a recent loss. I am sorry for that. I... Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Eldrin. Oh. So... Yeah. If you don't mind, like, while you're thinking, she just kind of <laughs> yeah. steps in. Um, I believe if you route the leader of the Red Brands, they'll crumble easily. So, dispatch the leader of the Red Brands, specifically the one the they call Glass Staff, I believe. Oh. There's a small nod. Dispatch of glass staff, and I will happily pay a lot of you 100 gold pieces. Should that suffice? It. 100 gold is sufficient. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about this glass staff? Oh, well, um, he's obviously a very clever man. Seems to be the brains behind the brawn. Never leaves that abandoned manor over to the east of town. Oh, and that was the information I wanted to tell you. You see, if you were to head out over into this direction, and she'll point, like, way over there, there's a place called Tresendar Manor, where the Red Brands currently reside specifically underneath the ruins of that old manor. I believe Glassstaff could be found there. As I do believe it to be their base of operations. Veldrin's gonna look back to the party. So... We have um, a location, at the very least, of where the Red Brands are located, and where this glass staff is. And if she's heard about what happened, they heard. Hmm. So maybe, hey. if we get the jump on them, I mean, we still might have an element of surprise, but definitely not if they send a Red Brands after us. Oh That's yes, why I think we dear. Need to act you'll quickly. you'll never be safe while you're in town. The red brands feel they own everything. Oh, I reckon we'll be safe after tonight. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> There's this visible malice radiating <laughs> off of Tommy. <laughs> That's my Stephen. <laughs> Right. Well, you've been very insightful. So thank you for your help. I... Of course. Um, what was your names, by the way? Uh, my name's Thomas. Pleasure to meet uh, you. Turg. Turg, pleasure to meet you. The name's Sebastian. Sebastian, a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. She looks so Hey, old cool. bag. Sorry, I mean what uh, what? What's your name? You gotta tell her your name. 
Why do I have to tell anyone anything? All right, never mind. <laughs> um, he's not really a part of this. Tell me. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just yes. he's just like imprinted. Is all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sebastian, was it? Yes. <laughs> looks back at <laughs> Sylvester. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I. Anyways, um, Sebastian, where? Who do you uh work for? You definitely seem to be a uh, a, a soldier of an organization. The mercenary for hire. Hmm. Nice. I see. We saw Darren often, don't, uh... It's often very hard for us to be associated with any group for too long. People are, look at a drow and they just assume Loth. Are you... being deceptive right now? No, uh, being deceptive about belonging to a group, but being very truthful about Seldarin not being welcomed in a lot of places. Of course. Okay, uh, go and do a deception at advantage. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a private roll. Okay. She'll nod a little bit and says, I think I understand. Uh, apologies for the inquiry. No apologies necessary. Inquiring minds and all that. Hmm. Well, if there's anything more you need. Happy hunting. Happy accidents. Bye. <laughs> she waves at Tommy. It's Tommy. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Have a good afternoon. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys would leave the, the mining exchange. Where do you go next? I think it's time, right? <laughs> well, I. Uh, uh. Unless we want to talk about a plan of attack here. So I want to um hmm. I want to double check the general store real quick. I know we've done a lot of shopping, but I just want to double check it see if he has a couple items on there. And then uh right. if he doesn't Crazy. we'll uh we'll go we'll go hunt. All right. Yeah, head on over. Ah, Veldrin, it was a pleasure. It's always a pleasure to see you. Uh, what right, can I do for you today? <laughs> uh, Mr. Bothan, I would like to look at your supplies. Oh. Check out my provisions. It's blank. Give me a minute. Check out my provisions. Ah, much appreciated. Thank you. It's anything you need, just place it on the scale. Anything at all. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm currently looking. Give me one moment. <laughs> Any time now. <laughs> uh, beautiful day it's been, right? It's a gorgeous day. Well, you're the first customer I've had today. Ah. Uh, Feels like they'll be right. <laughs> you know, I was thinking the same exact thing. My bows <laughs> ache sometimes <laughs> when it's about to rain. You can just smell it in the air a little bit, but I don't know if it's rain ache or just normal lake. Being in your twilight years, it does get a little hard to understand that. Ah, I'm nowhere near my twilight years. I'm uh, 27. Apologies, then. <sighs> Veldrin, I was lying to you. <laughs> well, that's rather unfortunate. Yeah, I'll so are you going to buy <laughs> <laughs> Are you buying something, or what are yes, we doing? I'll be... <laughs> I was waiting for you to stop your small talk so I could buy... <laughs> So I told you, just put it on the counter. I can talk and <laughs> sell and buy at the same time. 
Perfect, thank you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a pleasure as always. And I hope to do more business with you in the future. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, you too. <laughs> I was about to be like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Felt you wouldn't say that. All right. You've returned with two hunting traps. So, a couple of ideas. How to look. What? What? Gather around. Huh? Puddle. So, about two traps. Uh, an idea that I have, and to no one's surprise, I suggest we go at night. Right. I try to be in bed by 8 p.m. I know. Just before murder, she wrote. Um, oh, mm -hmm. sorry. Sorry, I just wanted to... I don't have dark vision, so... I'm, I might need a little bit of help. I do mean, not. <clears throat> Unless the manor is well lit from the inside. Oh, that's right. Halflings don't have dark vision. No big problem, though. I tell you to us and hey, look, the human. They can't see in the dark either. You know. Oh, oh you're right. You got a lot of light on. You're right. Hey. It would be accessible. Hey. All right. So, with, with the current plan, notwithstanding your need to see in the dark, hopefully, if the Red Brand are active, they'll be using torches or lanterns. Hey. Lanterns would be preferable, but... I'm thinking that at least what we can do is scout first, see if there are right. any guards. If there are any, dispatch them. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. The issue is that uh, you are rather small as a halfling, and you, my friend, are a rather large dwarf. Mm -hmm. So right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I'd be able to at least obscure my features and hide myself as a red brand. I got shown a store for some reason. <laughs> Oh, that's because uh, Tommy's purchasing stuff. Oh. I, I forgot I didn't have any torches. Don't mind me. Um, there you go, Tommy. Thanks. I, so, Scott, up. They have guards. Dispatch them. We can try to lure some more out by I, using uh, my my bell and rope and sort of try to lure them into some traps and just keep dispatching them. Eventually, we'll run out of luck and we'll have to go actually into their lair. But what if we can at least get a few of them on top, we'll be good. Um, what if we save the hunting traps for when we're actually in the manor and we put them in doorways? That was the plan. Okay. The sort of guard, either doorways that they might come out of or guard passages behind us because we have no idea what we're going into. Right. All right, I think we can do this. I... I, I don't right. know if we want to do some kind of cheers, but... <laughs> or we could just like, or we could just like, wait until evening. That's fine too. <laughs> Be waiting till evening. Mm -hmm. Do you have a cheer you'd like to do? I, no, I don't know any. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for well, it off. I know one. All right, that's it. <laughs> all right, so this is what you want to do, Johnny. I'm not like that. You want to do it. Yeah. You want to it. Hey, <laughs> I like it. Maybe next time. Maybe next time we'll just say a prayer to kill him for and be done with it. <laughs> so All you right. are waiting till the evening. Is that correct? I All believe right. that is the plan. All right. One moment as the passage of time advances. Oh, God. I have to do a constitution saving throw to see if Sylvester dies in the next couple hours. <laughs> don't, what? Don't. No, you don't. Yeah, don't I mean, tell I got, me I'm you that in. <laughs> see if he's on his last legs or not. You know what I mean? It's true. Most old people have to do that in real life, too. <laughs> whenever, whenever we sleep and do a long rest, I got to roll a D100. Not a one, my guy dies. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if those are the rules you'd like to give yourself, I'm down for it. Wait, what if you get a 100, wait. though, Brett? If he does I want to see him roll a D100 now. Well, he has what if to, he gets 100, Brett? What if he gets 100? No, he, he, he lives another day, ache free. Yeah, no aches. Mm -hmm. No aches. Yeah. The closer he is to one, the more achy he feels. The farther away he feels, 
little little yeah. little one is the final ache yeah <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> the, the ache. long ache <laughs> the long ache uh it is currently uh 10 in the evening everyone's kind of like uh settled around and and shut down for the evening all right let's be about it hey so you guys will be heading over to the uh the manor uh trying to avoid this main road understood so just kind of zoom out here um yeah you got you'll kind of like travel along the road you do so stealthily you're a lot you can roll some stealth checks if you'd like oh i can't be doing one of those <laughs> i will literally snap in half I'm afraid that i will definitely I have to say try i will not be rolling stealth checks on sylvester uh, understood <laughs> What if you get in that 20 then? You could, come on. You could creak, creak Bud, quietly. Bud, come on. <laughs> so, uh, we with could you, hear him from across the building creaking <laughs> and cracking. So, with, uh, with your destination being the manor, I'm just going to quickly move you over here. And as you kind of like go up the winding path, you kind of see, you know, the hustle and bustle of town kind of fades away as you end up over at this derelict manor. Um, it is uh, quite literally a shell of its former self as this building has long since been abandoned. Um, as you approach um, any kind of investigation you would do in this area uh, would uh, reveal a hidden away door that leads to the cellar of the manor and safe to assume where the red brands may be hiding do you go okay. in the cellar oh so we don't uh upon our little investigation how frequent is the traffic through this area uh there's currently no traffic here now but if you're yeah well, i'm talking go, like footprints uh, drag marks yeah go ahead and give me an investigation check hmm. uh i would say pretty active uh you kind of will notice as you're going in there's a lot of heavy boots like trailing in and out in and out suggesting that this is the like main hideout of the red brands Does this look like it's the only way in you can make an investigation check if you'd like Yes, please. I would like to assist him. Uh, go ahead and do so at advantage. All right. 18. One moment. So as you begin to, like, look around the area and, like, moving some stuff over, you'll find the manor has long since been abandoned. Within the area that you are currently, this seems to be the only entrance into the, in, into the cellar. What? <laughs> What if we flood it? Oh, just like don't what if we flood it? Is what you said. Hey, what if I don't like smoke them out? Uh, I don't think. Well, well, smoke rises is the problem. I and I also it. don't think we have enough water to flood it. Well, we start a fire in the entrance, though, and then we burn them in that way. I do have a couple of oil flasks, but I think that might be a last resort. Hey, okay, how about that then? We always sit down for time. So if we have to run away, we come up this way and then we pull it all down there, pull it away, and then we run away. That one come up, we're burning on fire. <laughs> we can do something like that. I can set up some ball bearings as well. Rope trap, ball bearings. Sort of catch them in the doorway. We'll just have to remember that I put these down, so when we run out, if we're forced to run out, you have to be mindful where I put it. Yeah, I... I, I... Okay. Yeah, this reminds me of back when my family would try to smoke rats out from the basement. <laughs> we would just seal them in, and we would find the entrance, and we would throw all kinds of things into the entryway and starve them out. They'd devour each other. We'd open up the basement in a couple of days, and there'd just be one big rat. Then we kill it. Oh. <laughs> and we know that one is And then you, what, release it out? And now it's no longer hungry for fruit. It just eats rat. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um, is that is that the plan then? I mean, what if nobody comes out in a couple of hours? Hey, uh, humans nocturnal. Uh, no, humans are not nocturnal. Oh. <laughs> we'll need to be real quiet. Looking at not even Turk, who I know would be rolling at disadvantage for his stealth checks, but looking at Grandpa, who has followed us. <laughs> I mean, they might just think he's a clacking of the floorboard. <laughs> Aye, they might. I, I know this is going to be very hard for you, old timer. Is there any way, and only when we get engaged, that you talk? All right. Sure. <laughs> Can you repeat back to me what I said? <laughs> 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 it's just <gonna> stare at you. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, tell me. Do you remember what I said? Um. <laughs> Tommy looks around. I I don't remember. No, it's all right. It's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, mm -hmm. there's there's no judgment here. This is obviously something out of your wheelhouse, so I understand the uncertainty. What I need you to do, aside mm -hmm. from being very dangerous with that crossbow and your spells, okay. I need you to keep an eye on Sylvester. Oh, oh, that's what you, I thought you meant for the trap. Yeah, so, Sylvester, you're gonna, you're gonna stay right here with me, all right? Don't, don't go wandering off anywhere. And you don't uh, go wandering off anywhere either. Yeah, you all might right, be eaten by a... A boar or something, something that lives in these woods. I don't know. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm ready. I'll station up, uh, about thirty feet away from the entrance, and hide. I'm going to check the door, see if there are any traps, see if there's anybody lying in wait. Mm -hmm. If there isn't, I'll give you a signal. We'll move in. All right. All right, let me know what um, what everyone's doing. Okay. Wait, I think I got a loss in the plot. Are we are we going in or are we trapping the front? Because I'm cool with either of them. We are. So what Veldrin is going to do is he's going to mm -hmm. go scout the door. He's going to make sure it's not trapped. He's yep. going to make sure there's nobody watching him. Then we're going to mm -hmm. head in. He's going okay. to set a trap at the door. Mm -hmm. He's going to want everybody to remember where the trap is. So when we leave or are forced to leave, we oh, can avoid it. Oh, I see. God. That's oh, so man. dangerous. <laughs> I, I look at Sylvester. I I'm also well aware. Look at <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How hard do I have to RP? <laughs> How much sleep did Tomato get? That's what, that's, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right. So. Uh, go ahead and give me an investigation check. Okay. Good luck out there, champ. So as you navigate over to the cellar door, you'll kind of open. It lets out a light old creak, but nothing too loud. You'll kind of peek in. And as you open the door, you're going to see this wide... Oh. Yeah? I wanted to see it wasn't trapped. Oh, yeah. You're, well, you, well, sorry, you mentioned I'm creaking the door. It, you know, I'm checking if it's not trapped, and then I'm going in to see that no one yes. is doing Yeah, so I'm just, just, so I'm just, the door open, nothing exploded in your face. Um, I'm just assuming you're continuing forward because, yes, there is no trap. There's no Perfect. trap there. Is there I'd something? I'd like to be very quiet. Of course. Give me a stealth check. Excellent. So as you open the door, you'll see this, um, this sort of landing that that uh where this air where the uh, cellar will descend even further um it'll descend down two short flights of steps and you'll notice that there is another door over to the north of this room uh you'll also notice that there is a large stone cistern uh, that occupies the western part of the room 
but you don't see anyone. For my smooth brain, what is a cistern? A uh, big old fountain. Oh, okay. Interesting. What is the current state of this place? Um, pretty well kept in a better condition than the manor. Understood. Okay. Um, and I don't see nobody. You see nobody. Okay. I'm going to very gently close the door. I'm going to make my way back up and signal to the rest of the party. Or sorry, it's a, a rectangular reservoir of, of water. It's, wh- it's where you keep clean water. Mm. I mean, I, I understood a fountain. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 All right, we're going in. Uh, Sylvester, you gotta follow me. Okay. <laughs> and... so we're, we're stealthing, right? Yes. Uh, give me a give me a roll. Sure, I will do. A... Oh, not bad. Yo, okay. All right. All right. Sylvester told he needs to try to be quiet. Be really sneaky. Uh, all right, but I don't know if my bones are going to agree. Hey. Hey. All right. He just like slithers in like a snake, just like moving around. His bones are shaped perfectly for it. Ew. Ew. It's kind of like shuffling on the ground more than he is like using, like walking with his feet. Normally he's kind of doing like a shuffle <laughs> along the floor. So oh. he to not move his knees too much. All right, you guys ready to go into the next map? Yes. yes. Wonderful. Give me one moment. I need to do a thing. I need to press that button. I need to press uh, this button. And then I shall bring you in to the hideout. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, so I will describe what I said before. Uh, the door opens up into a huge area, a large cellar with stone steps that descend to the floor, uh, two short flights. Another door stands beneath the stairs to the north. A large stone uh, cistern occupies the western part of the room, whose walls are lined with kegs and barrels. The stage is yours. Okay. Uh, ooh, so we see the door here. Yeah. Is this a light source I'm seeing? Uh, yes. You see, you're, you're, you see like a little, uh, you see like a lamp, like a little torch over here. Oh, okay. All right. So we need to be very quiet and let's just have a quick look around. Uh, I can't. I can't see. Hey, <laughs> you can't. You can't see the light. Well, hold on. Oh, don't. Uh, <laughs> I, oh no. Oh uh, no. Please give me an acrobatics check. Oh, As you no. walk forward, oh, there's no railing, and you fall two flights of. St- you fall down two f- uh, two stories. This is it? Bro. Is there? Oh God! Is there any way to try and catch him? Unfortunately, <laughs> there is not at this point. Ten points of damage will be done to Tommy. Oh, Tommy is now bloodied. Touching right. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Maybe I don't know what to say. I can't <laughs> see. I don't have dark vision. <laughs> Where did you even go? Oh. Don't don't be hasty. Ow! And help him out to his feet. Ow! I'm a blow the leg. You know you like. Yeah, that's a hazard. It's a I hazard. Really there isn't any way light, one. light there. I couldn't see anything. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, going forward, let me guide you until there's light nearby, all right? Okay. How are you feeling? Um, not great. 
<laughs> not for your grave. Gonna be honest with you. <laughs> be legs broken. In it. <laughs> you know, I'll go upstairs, take an hour. <laughs> I, okay. So we've already hey. we've already fucked up. <laughs> I tell you, that's why I always say you gotta be in bed by eight. <laughs> okay. So Leave, this gonna leaving happen. the dungeon is also an option. <laughs> I am going to look around. I'm gonna see if I can find anything of note. You are gonna stay here in God Sylvester. Okay. Okay. <laughs> When I come back, we'll leave, and then we'll rest. Because that'll play the hurt. I'm gonna... I'm gonna sit over the cistern, and I'm gonna take a dump into their fresh water. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, uh, anyone that would be... <laughs> Watching uh, Turg right now, <laughs> making a big old Turg. I think it will. I think it will cause chaos in them. Okay, right. they're sat there in the other room, <laughs> right the and they're going to blame only themselves. Understood. Uh, several pieces of excrement are now floating, depending on diets in this in the clean water source. Um, I love piss and shit RP. <laughs> I, like, yes. There's I'm a chance it causes chaos in their ranks. I'm gonna start looking around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? yeah? Yeah, is that is that what you're gonna do? Yeah. I'm gonna use my peepers and uh look around. Start uh I see there's a door. Um yes. and I see that there is a metric fuck ton of barrels. Yes. Um, and some now soiled, uh, <laughs> desecrated cistern that is yes. no longer safe for human consumption. <laughs> That's so fucked. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna start. We're gonna start peeking around uh, because. Pers give me a perception check, please. Perception. Uh. All right. Uh, as you're looking around, your eyes can't help but continue to gravitate to the cistern where the... I'm really trying not to look at it. You're really trying not to look at it <laughs> until something catches your eye. You see, uh, Turg's little swimmers are, are floaters, rather, as they are up on the cistern area. I want to die. But you will These notice... Are swimmers. But you will... You will <laughs> notice uh, that something seems to be sunken deep in the cistern. Oh, no. How deep in the cistern? Ten feet, uh, like, almost about ten mm. feet deep. Mm, good. <laughs> hey, and, you'll, and, you'll, hey. and you will recognize that you believe uh, there is a uh, sat that you, you will, then you will see the submerged rope underneath. Someone is hiding a satchel in there. Going to turn to Turg. Right? <laughs> Still, I did like on. No, come on. I got mad. No, you didn't. Come here. What do you mean? I want you to take that bucket and scoop out your excrement because there's something down there in the water. No, then do. No. Did you just say no? I. I left them up. I don't know. You have to take it. <laughs> Somebody is hiding something in the water. Sick. <laughs> then go get it. I'm not going in there. I'm just going in. I'm not oh asking God. you to go in there. <laughs> I'm asking you. Shit. I'm not going in there. <laughs> I'm asking you to scoop out your shit. I am not in there. <laughs> Two. Just professionally trained DMs talking about shitty water and who's gonna scoop it up. God. I'm gonna hand him I'm gonna hand him the grappling hook. Yes, yeah, have. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, okay. you are handed the grappling hook. What you gonna, gonna do now? Tie it to my rope. 
<laughs> We're gonna. Veldrin's going to undo his cloak. No. He's gonna wrap his cloak around his waist. This He's can't gonna be take happened. off his gloves. <laughs> this just can't be happening. He's gonna tuck his gloves into his belt. Dude, Veldrin can still retire. You can still walk away. <laughs> We're gonna take one of the buckets, yeah, and we're gonna try and either scoop the shit out, fucking yeah. Christ, or move it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna need a, a dexterity check, compadre. Hey, that was a big breakfast. That should be a strength check. <laughs> All right, gracefully, uh, you scoop the excrement of Turg out of the uh, out of the cistern. Standing on the edge, I'm going to try to grapple hook and pull either the rope or the satchel itself up. Sure. Give me another dexterity check. Uh, you kind of like throw it into the water. You immediately pull. It kind of like manages to wrap around the under uh, the, the, the waterproof rope uh, and you just sort of pull it up and you will see this waterproof satchel just sort of slap down right over here. Uh, there is some modicum of annoyance finally showing on Veldrin's <laughs> otherwise usually stoic features. Um, but he would eventually set down the grappling hook and uh, would sort of thumb open. Actually, I'm going to make sure it's not trapped. <laughs> okay. Uh, investigation, please. Uh, it, it is, it just is a sealed, uh, waterproof satchel. Okay. We're going to thumb it open and see what's inside. Understood. Understood. So one moment, please. I have a lot of folders now. All right. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Uh, so first things first. You would find the following. You would find a potion of healing, a potion of invisibility, 50 gold pieces, and a set of traveling clothes. Holy shit. Ooh. Uh, sorry, it was a, a potion of healing, mm -hmm. a potion of invisibility. Mm hmm. 50 gold and some traveling clothes. Uh, that is correct. Someone was going to try and run away. <sighs> Absolutely. This is... We just... We fucked somebody right now, is what just happened. Yeah, we also took a big old dump in the thing, too, so... <laughs> I mean, they may not even want it afterwards, anyways. <clears throat> I mean, you can... Potion you can put, it, put it back in, but... Um, <laughs> I'm going to want that potion of healing, dude. Nah, we gotta save that potion for a fight, right? We gotta just take you outside. To heal. Okay, all right, we can also. Yeah, mind, do that. We, need a short we don't rest. have like yeah, a yeah. healer in our group anymore. <clears throat> good point. Okay, I mean, I guess we could do that, but we also have to sneak past the trap, which I don't know if that's. If I haven't set the just... trap because ah, okay. you fell before I could. Sorry, I just I couldn't see anything. Oh, I thought it's I was right. so flat. It's totally fine. I understand. I should have been more mindful. Right, we can exit for a little bit. That, that's alright. Hey, that was something. We got a fair bit of supplies out of it. So, okay. let's go back up. Let's Someone get you mended, and then we'll come back down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Other than, well, no, that's alright. You won't chuck me off the edge, right? Why would I chuck you off the edge? Okay, alright, I trust this old man. Damn right. <clears throat> so, what is the plan? Are, I think we're gonna go. And we're gonna take go a short out. Rest. We're gonna short I, I, I feel fucking sick, dude. I like. <laughs> I, I had no idea there was a railing there because it's not on <laughs> and my it's screen. Hilarious and also, I don't have vision. <laughs> I know. You pull that, and that's what happened. Tavi, who is blind, walked forward where there was no, because there's no rail. It literally is uh, just an open 
drop. So oh, you, yeah, you I'm just... going. I'm going with Sylvester. By the way, like I truly cannot navigate. Um, yeah. Understood. I'm I'm staying behind you to make sure you don't fall down. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Uh, so you guys are doing a short rest. Is that correct? Yeah, we're going to yes. take an hour outside to rethink. Yes, <laughs> to, yes, chef. Just, just re- rethink this strat. All right. <laughs> Uh, give me one second. I'm going to give everyone a short rest. We're going to do, 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 do. Short rest. Uh, Tommy, would you like to spend hit die on your short rest? Yes, please. How many would you like to spend? Both of them. If I have to. You do have two. Okay. You're at 13 health. Thank you. 13 out of 14. Okay. And boom. All right, an hour passes. <clears throat> Using the same precautions, you would arrive back in the cellar. This time, uh, with Tommy at his side, you would he would, a hand on his shoulder, and he would very gently extend his palm out, and he would say, Kaelin. And as he says it, four small lights begin to dance in the center of his palm. Mm. And he would make them really small, basically shedding about five feet of bright, five feet of dim. And he would sort of, with that same elven grace, sort of flick his wrist, and the dancing lights would hover around Tommy. Okay. Wow, thank you. (laughs) You're welcome. So, there's a doorway. If you're feeling better, let's go ahead. Let's go see what's inside. Okay. Give me a moment to see if it's trapped. We'll go from there. All right. Mm-hmm. 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 We roll up to the door. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We check if it's trapped. I'd like to ready a true strike if he opens the door and I can see somebody through it. Okay. Mm. Uh, looks like a perfectly normal door. God, this is the best part. Good luck, champ. <laughs> Isn't it great when you when you know you got a shit investigation? <laughs> he fucking tells you that. Looks at looking at the door and sort of. Uh, hands hovering over it for a moment. He'd look back. All right, I'm going to open it now. Very slowly. Bringing a hand up, thinking it's not trapped. He's going to very gently try the handle. Okay. You try the handle. And, yep, you're now holding the handle. Giving it a small... Either is this like a push or a knob? <clears throat> uh, it is a uh, a pull. Okay. Uh, going to give it a small sort of pull to see and if you it's locked. And you know that it's pulled because the door will kick open with a red brand surprising you. Whoa. Begin combat. Uh, so, uh, these <laughs> red brands were in wait for you because of the uh, halfling falling and the pain and everything oh, that everyone no. was going. Uh, uh, yes. However, uh, True Strike is uh, was Applied. readied, so that yeah, okay. you do get to cast that immediately. Cool. And uh, here we go. So uh, we're going to start ourselves a little bit of a surprise round. Uh, we first begin with uh, skipping that. Where's my combat carousel? Damn, this guy's got the jump on us. It's been an honor. (laughs) (laughs) Good luck out there, champ. Let me refresh real quick to see if I can get the combat carousel to uh, do that. And I will also refresh this screen. Combat carousel's been a little little wacky. I have a feeling in my bones. uh, I'm going to go. I'll be right back. (laughs) Yeah. Damn shame what happened to Velcro. <laughs> we'll see. Everything will be fine, all right? That's uh, quite a couple multi-attack advantage swings. Well, I mean, it isn't exactly because, I mean, 
I feel like someone will block the doorway and make it so that, it, well, I don't really know how the ruling is going to be on that. Can NPCs flank us? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. One moment, please. Even worse. <laughs> or a cat with a poo idea. <laughs> should, uh, we, we should have done uh, Sylvester's crazy idea and sealed them in like a tomb. It's true. Starve Come back out. in two weeks. <laughs> Come back and do, go do another quest. Come back. <laughs> See you there alive. For me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I'm checking something with the surprise round. I don't believe... Uh, I don't. I don't believe there is an advantage. It just they just go first. A uh, surprise round. It would be an advantage. Yes. Oh, I was gonna really? say. I don't read it. No. Mm. Because I was not aware not, of the creature. Not reading it. Uh, uh. Because I was not aware, uh, they basically treat it as stealth or hiding. Ah, that's where it is. Okay, let's begin. <laughs> so, so yeah, the door kicks in. You see the red brand charge in. Uh, and we begin. Thought you could put the sneak up on us, eh? And then he's just gonna go ahead and, uh... Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Let's begin. 17. That hits. Uh, three points of damage. Another, uh, a hit. 15. That hits. All right. Eight, eight points of damage. He's bloodied. Uh, but, 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 but. What's their bonus to hit? I'm just trying to see it. Is it just plus two? Uh, it okay, is, I see it. Yeah. And 15 did hit. I see. Yeah. And yeah, so they all begin to like crowd the door as he's trying to push and stab you through. So I'm going to do this, 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 oops, this, and then round two with Veldrin. Oh, bonus action disengage. <laughs> we are uh, we're gonna cunning action uh, immediately to quickly like sort of shove at the guy to back step uh, about thirty feet. Uh, then uh, I'm going to take a shot with my crossbow. All right, let's see it. That misses. Indeed, it does. Uh, that's my turn. Uh, this one sees the arrow. It, it just doesn't slow him down. He just keeps uh, trying to charge ahead. Uh, that's as far as he's going to be able to go. Uh, so he just kind of holds his sword up and prepares uh, to parry. Ooh. Sylvester. Hey, buddy, you startling an old man. Uh, bonus action hex on this guy for athletics. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to blast him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And also, when you're blasting him, he has dodge, so it would be a disadvantage, just FYI. Oh, I didn't know he had dodge on him. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's all good. Well, I already did it, so... Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it wouldn't hit either way. One doesn't change, so we're good. Yeah. And then uh, Sylvester is going to attempt to uh, flee a distance away, because he knows better. Okay. okay. Tommy. Hmm. Ball. Tommy's gonna cast sleep. <laughs> All right, I get him right here. Well, yeah, all right. One is okay. <laughs> Sorry, I uh, I don't have the spell. On. That's okay. I will give it to you. Okay, I, haven't, thank you. I haven't had a chance to to cross reference uh, your spell list, so no worries. You have been granted sleep. You have it prepared. <laughs> I'm just a little guy. Wait, Nightmares a... made manifest. Nightmares made manifest indeed. Okay, I believe this this should hit all of them. Um, it looks like all of them are in the radius. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> give me one second, and I will tell you exactly what happens. Mmm, interesting. Um, so if everyone's got the same hit points, is it from inward to outward? Or is it just more DM's choice? Um, let me the same see. one. Uh, it, 
if uh, if they all have the same hit points, it's it's your choice. Understood. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll one d three. Okay. Uh, this one falls unconscious. Just immediately, just <laughs> trips Blech. and falls nice. down on his face, unconscious. Uh, and, and that's it. That's it, huh? That's it. Got it. Um, I'm gonna use my movement to uh back up another ten or so feet. Okay. Next up uh, is the red brand. Yeah, this one's just gonna 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, gonna hold up his sword, getting ready to dodge. Turk! Moving away, uh, Veldrin. Yes, Turk! <laughs> uh, pull shield up, go in for swing. Uh, control click, please. Oh, yep, you're absolutely right, because he's got the majority thing. Uh, bam, 10 bam, misses. Bam. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll action search. Might as well. Okay. Actually, no, I'm not going to, because not whilst he has dodge. Smart. I'm just going to end turn that. I was like, oh, yeah. Uh, you hear loud snoring from the cellar. <laughs> Very okay. cool. Um... Yeah, we're going to move up to flank with this guy. Hell yeah. Uh, your attack uh, is now normal. <clears throat> also, um, yes. Your bonus to hit is plus four. Yes. Okay. You're going to roll a 13 on this one. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Making it a 17 to hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plus flanking. Mm. So with him having dodge, it would just be a flat roll. So this Correct. would be the oh, you said, I see. Uh, 13 plus my to hit. Yep. Correct. So that'd be a 17 to hit, BM. Yep. Uh, that hits. Oh, good damage. Damn. Damn. And then... Unfortunately, sneak attack doesn't apply when the initial is disadvantage, I believe. Correct. Ooh, but well, it's he, a he, he get advantage because it uh he, and he's within five feet like, of my oh ally. i see what you're saying yeah no we good you good you're right you're All right. right i uh i always get confused about the dis disadvantage like the disadvantage is like if you got disadvantage against me no matter what but you don't have disadvantage because of the two yeah we good uh maths anyways bloody okay uh and uh because i'm still hurt we're gonna do bonus action uh disengage okay also, hey, buddy, what's going on with that sneak attack? You should probably talk to it sometime. God, I would yes, love to. I think yeah. you've never rolled anything but a one. It's <laughs> insane, in fact. Uh, yeah, that's what hurt. All right. So he kind of goes in. He's, he catches the blood. Uh, he looks forward over to you. He's about to walk over to approach and not seeing Turg in front of him for a second. And uh, yeah, so he's going to look down. Uh, I'm going to get hey. rid of this dodge. Let's go. And we're doing the slashy slash. Uh, I no. believe that's a miss. You got 17, correct? Uh, 18. 18. Us. Both miss. You're blocking, you're deflecting, you're parrying. You're doing exactly everything you need to. Sylvester. Yeah, Sylvester's going to blast this guy again. Uh, with another Elvis blast. He misses again. Ugh. He's got bad eyes. Bad I'll eyes today. In. Tommy. Uh, He's going to... Mm, yeah, he's gonna level a crossbow bolt at uh, the one that is currently threatening Turg, and um, I almost just called this fucking guy Sylvester. <laughs> Ooh, four damage. Four damage. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be turned though. Okay. Uh, so he's gonna try. Oof. Good work. Hey, can't flank me. <laughs> yeah, I can't flank you. Good work. And that's what it is, too. He's going to be, he like, oi, oi, get over there. Get right there. And then he's going to no. look down at the soiled water. And he's like, no. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that. Hey, so I give you. <laughs> Here we go. 
Uh, 18 so cool. just meets uh, four points yeah. of damage. What's the damage? 11 misses. Kurg. Uh, I'm going to strike him back. The guy right in front of me. Swing. How do you dispatch of him? Right down the head again. Like cracking open a mine or. Oh, oh my. <laughs> bah! Gowd! And then. <laughs> what? Maybe. Ooh! Is that flanking, <laughs> baby? That's flanking. Yo! Oh my god! Action surge. Yes! Oh, 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 go. Yes! Turk is so cool! Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, 14. oh my <laughs> god! Immediately bloodied. You will actually see the wind get knocked out of him. <gasps> As he just kind of like takes the hit. Hey. But still standing, but bloodied. You're like that! You're like that! <laughs> that was awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> Loud motherfucking snoring. Veldrin. Okay. Yeah, we're going to try and follow up with my friend, uh, flanking. Ooh, how do you dispatch with this one? Uh, him reeling, the moment he sort of keels forward, it's the laying up through the chest, sort of protruding out through the back and then wrenching it free. Yeah. All right. Downed and defeated. Oh, there's one still asleep in the back room. I disarm him and then we'll kill him. I will end the encounter. Uh, because you do have one unconscious. Uh, how long does sleep last for? An hour? Mm, it's like a, minute. a minute. A minute, actually. All right. You guys still have eight rounds. We have to move fairly quickly, all right? I'm moving... Double check the area first, and then I'm gonna uh, <laughs> disarm him of his weapons. Understood. Uh, his short sword taken, and that's all he had on him. Oh, actually, <laughs> suddenly sure. check something real quick. Check his boots. Ooh. Mm. Boy. Thanks, Wizards of the Coast. That's a really cool loot to distribute. <clears throat> uh, he's got <laughs> this one. <laughs> Oh my god. Give me a sec, I gotta roll. Um, you will also find him... That's number two. Twelve silver pieces and five gold pieces in his pouch. Oh! Nice! That's another ten day, baby! <laughs> you have seven rounds remaining. Or six at this point. Stab. Uh, go I ahead. Have- Sync up with my teammates, and we stab him at once. Understood. Then we're going to do a little thing called a surprise round. Have fun. Go ahead and make sure you're all attacking at advantage. All right. The uh, the problem is uh, Sylvester right now. Uh, Sylvester <laughs> will be rolling normally. Oh, he's not here. Oh, great. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tommy. He, th- he thinks that guy's dead um, already. Yeah. I guess I guess Tommy's going to try to smack his head in with his staff. Good luck, Tommy. Uh, awesome. Right. That's right. eight points of damage. I'm assuming you're two-handing him. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's bloodied. Uh, the moment he takes that impact, Put him uh, down. he's oh, he wakes up and uh, like from the the, <laughs> the, the <Stay> sleep. <laughs> oh my god, Valdrin. Oh, uh, okay. uh, you, you want to roll that sneak attack? Uh, what is happening? What? what is happening? It's 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 impossible. I don't understand. I don't understand what's happening. I literally do We're not. We're going off to the dragon. I. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a four. A, that's yeah, dead. It'd, have, it'd have been the thunk, the slam to wake him up, and then the moment he sort of looked, it'd have been the laying through the throat. All like right. uh, like Arthur stabbing... Uh, like <laughs> like the reverse of Arthur stabbing Excalibur into the rock. Okay. You've uh, successfully dispatched all three of the bandits. And that is where we're going to wrap up today because we uh, our time is set today for 11 o'clock. So thank nice. you so much. Uh, next next week, we will be continuing our, um, our adventure into the Red Brand encampment. But so far... Yeah, okay. Yeah, you guys doing great. It's doing wonderful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Next, the next time, uh, because I'm assuming you're still looting, um, 
you will get from one of them 16 silver and seven gold and another one will have 15 electrum and two guardets on their person Ooh. additionally you will see three dirty scarlet cloaks hanging from the bunks and i'll repeat that all tomorrow uh next week as well of what you tomorrow gained. awesome i can't yeah. wait to say tomorrow let's <laughs> fucking go baby <laughs> Uh, that was fun. Um, if you guys are cool with it, I'd like to do bingo. Uh, we won't do fan strike because I think what we're, we're going to do, I really, um, and I kind of want your opinions of this. Well, I like the downtime activity session where we all level up together, um, see what's going on. And then we do like a big, huge fan art as sort of like our big, mm. that's our big celebration okay. slash downtime session. You know what I mean? Does that I'm sound, that. Does that sound good with you guys? Yeah. 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 And then we can, and it's fun because then we like get to go back to like previous sessions and we're like, oh my God, that's right. That happened. So I think it's going to be really good there. Eh, well, last chat, I wasn't asking you. Uh, so we, uh, it, it, we're going to do a uh, bingo today though. So let's go ahead and do that, that bingo. Boop, 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 boop. And then we'll, we'll, we'll wrap it up. Uh, that's assuming we do have a bingo today. Oh, wait, we, have we had a bingo yeah like okay all right maybe i just sort of Ever? lost track because of yeah i don't know if we do bang bingo on hardcore do we yeah we we do okay. we? I, huh. you know what you know, oh <laughs> you know what no you know what's been happening it's because we've been going so late the last yeah sessions. we've skipped yeah, everything that's it. We've skipped everything. Yeah, but oh, there usually okay. is there usually is a bingo sheet and i do at least want to do that before we wrap it uh, wrap up today um so we start with tommy's innocence is chipped away once again i'm gonna i'm gonna mm. click you check that off uh level up that's the that that did not happen today and i will not count level two as the level up for there uh <laughs> nat one yes players rough up a red brand member if you could call it that <laughs> yeah tommy uses his portent uh roles he did yeah yay the party encounters D's or Gargonzola zombie. No. Holy fuck. Clutch spell. There were a few. Uh, mm -hmm. Everyone fails a perception check. No. Tommy goes on a killing once again. Yep. Nat 20. Yep. Veldrin offers to train Tommy. No. That's not yet. That yeah. didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Somebody inherits Brian's bags of sand. I took one. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the party wishes they had healing magic. I'm going to say when that <laughs> those legs snaps. That should be the free one. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, Turg teaches Tommy how to drink. No. Uh, Turg says something somewhat coherent. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, he was pretty coherent this session, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I was telling Masay about this. What I really love about Turg is when you first meet him, uh, we're trying to figure out what Joe is saying, but also Joe's trying to figure out how to be comprehensive as turg yeah, yeah. <laughs> so as it goes it on bad. we're learning and understanding better and joe's just getting better at it and i like to think that's the party g growing like closer with turg. Yeah. exactly so i love it <laughs> i absolutely love it uh players hire an npc for their service no do players or more get knocked out no one got knocked out uh players buy non-combat equipment yes uh turg loses his other arm no <laughs> Uh, Tomato's tiefling oh character is introduced uh, searching for Gordy. Nope. Players make a goblin friend. No. Tommy loses a limb. No. Veldrin lives another day. That's five, <laughs> baby. Let's fucking go. Nice. Therapy time for the party? Nah, was, where nah. we're going, we won't need therapy. Hell yeah. Did we Hell. do any therapy today? I don't think so. Did we, we had, right in the beginning? I was going to say, we had a somber moment at the start, but I wouldn't really... I mean... Therapy. I leave that Would to you, you count distributing the the loot of the previous party? No. no. Oh that's yeah, therapy. no, yeah, that was the summer. Room. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's just that's just that's just buying your way out of a friendship. That's all that was. <laughs> You're like, hey man, uh, I don't want to hang out with you. So here's ten gold, and you're gonna live over there now. That's what that feels like. <laughs> all right, so that is uh, that wraps up today with one bingo. Congratulations, guys. Let's Woo -hoo -hoo. fucking go. Let's go. All right, so we'll be back uh, next week. Sound good with some more hardcore shenanigans as you guys explore the Red Brand hideout? I'm so excited. Yes, Sounds uh... good to me. All right, guys. I will see you then. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.